What's the deal with Alan? It's got to be I'm a so very good rape way. So, floor is lava. Yeah. Wow. Shiny. She's so unfazed. Look at her. Yay! Yay! Scene investigators. Oh, I'm wait, hold on. Over <laughs> again. <laughs> Put these on her. She would oh, rock sure. those. It's tiny. <laughs> DJ Little Penis. <laughs> Slay the Princess. Critical acclaim. Um, wow. Was that me? Oh that was Bob. What, what happened? Oh my gosh, Bob, why? Back pocket live from Loki Studios on Thursday, the 2nd of November. <laughs> November? What? The show is starring the master of memes. It's Ruby Innes. <laughs> hey, did you know that Aragon broke his toe when he kicked that Steph Panacasio? She spent the night playing a game inside another game. It's Stephanie Ben Dixon. And there's a little Scotty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's his Loki! Oh, oh, wow. oh my goodness! Oh, hey, it's his Loki anniversary. Happy Loki anniversary to John! Yeah. 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 Happy Loki anniversary, baby! Woo. And it's me, Peter Burns of Lugano, New South Wales. You don't live there anymore. Not anymore. Tonight on the show, we ascend, we slay the princess, we uh, what do we do? We sling the silver screens and we sleuth the scenes like a procedural cop. Yeah! yeah. Wow! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Scott. Wow. I get it. That was my Caruso. Look what you've done. Like from the show. I assume, yeah, I know Wait. it's the who. CSI Miami. CSI Miami. It, but I assume. Do you have shades? I have no had shades. shades. No I have shades. had shades in the past. I've never seen a single episode of any CSI. Really? Yeah, me neither. Oh. True story. Me oh. neither. I've only seen like that that meme. <laughs> I, I know that there's a goth girl on one of them who's like a mortician. That is oh, um, NCIS. That's NCIS. And her name is Abby. Her name is Abby. That's the, the, she, the spin off? Yeah, uh, and no. she. Uh, it's like no, CSI, no, no. but it's, it's, it's Navy. Oh. it's like it's mm. like, uh, uh, just like a different <laughs> good show. It's, it's separate. But, uh, they look good in the Abby... wide because the, the 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 on the glasses the light looks good. Like it's uh, yeah. appropriately placed. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's you NCIS. Have to just there's CSI. Remove them dramatically at the end of every sentence. SVU. Yeah. SV Law and Order. Law and Order. Yeah. There were lots of Law and Order. Separate. Um, uh, do you remember Jag? I do yeah. remember Jack. Jack. My mom loves Jack. I've never watched Jack. it, but I know uh, what's it. What's the British one? Not Jack. The Bill? The Bill. The Bill is awesome. The Bill. Mm. Your Nick Gov. And then they take him down to the station. Oh, and there's, and there's uh, <laughs> Lufa. <laughs> Lufa. Lufa. Idris Elba is Lufa. Idris Elba is Lufa. Uh, Steph, <laughs> Pete, welcome back to the show. Thank you. It's so lovely to have you on. <laughs> 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 so a little pat for you. I feel really She's my little now. friend. Yeah. What have you been up to since uh since you were last on? I want to know every detail. Every single part of my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I sit at desk a lot. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I sit at mm. desk most of the time, mm. and then sometimes I sit not at desk. I just mm. noticed I'm the only like right person. right now. Yeah, I'm the only one with feet on ground. Oh. Yeah, floor is lava. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Scotty, look out. Oh, Scotty. Oh. She's okay. She's okay. Oh, she's so unfazed. Look at her. She's like, yeah, well, she just so does not care. <laughs> I love you, Scotty. She's so <laughs> used to it. She's just like, I'm done with this shit, man. <laughs> Put these on her. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this she, is the show now. She would, yeah. she would uh, fucking rock show. those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! Here you go, baby. Run free. She's like, no. Scotty, Run back, free. back to the lava. Back, back yeah. to the lava. Aww. Scotty glasses. Oh. <gasps> She's looking at me. Oh yeah. Do you yeah. sit at desk now? You sit at desk. Sit now. at desk. Yeah. Yeah. You were down at Pax. I was. I did do th that. Was not at desk. That was that not was at desk. So far away from desk. And you guys did uh, a panel that apparently blew the roof off. It was kind wow. of. People are saying that that's it was what everyone the best. around town was saying. People are saying yeah. it's been where the street is. Many yeah. people have been saying that it was the best panel of. You're hearing yeah. it more and more. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen town. it specifically on both of your twitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and we're right. Really like, we're actually like the, the top spot when <laughs> yeah. it comes to 
information about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't disagree with that. Everyone mm. says, go to Ruby and Steph for the facts. <laughs> we know everything and, and we will that. tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah. What have you been doing, Ben Dixon? Um, I don't know. I feel like my, uh, everything is a blur. I'm... <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm going. Oh, no. I'm going. No, I'm you going good? to Singapore next week, which is exciting. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Cool. For the Legion Go, so that'll be Hell fun. Yeah. Um. That was one of the fun things we did at South by Southwest because we yeah we went on a couple of we things. went on, we a, went pirate on a, ship. a pirate ship yeah, and I feel like I feel like when when people go out of their way to put a like a unique event on, I want to see some more like interactive spirit. No one was dancing with the pirates <laughs> except me. No, Aww. totally. Well, I think, yeah. like, I feel like that is true. We've been doing event coverage stuff for a decade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's always been true. Marketing teams do an amazing, and PR teams do an amazing job of putting on these, like, cool things. It's like, I remember being on, like, when I first started a good game, it was like the last big Sony party had uh, um, Temper Trap or something, someone playing. No, it was, um, it was a Microsoft thing, and they had the presets. And literally, what? no one cared. What? what? Yeah, wow. no one, Seriously? What, they huh? were playing at the end of the room. Or something. This I may be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure it was the presets <laughs> at the end of the room at wow. Luna Park, and and everyone was like just ignoring them because they were having conversations with each other. Uh, but uh, I would I would pay <laughs> I would pay so much money just to see the presets <laughs> bust a nut on Gus stage. Gus was it. Was that the, would be wasn't beautiful. the presets I missed? It. Gus will remember because he was totally into it. Yeah. And he was like, what the hell is everyone doing? We should be down there. I would I'm lose sure yeah. my fucking mind. I, w- I went to one, this is back in the day. This is like, uh, it, the landscape has changed so much because no one would do this now. Everything is just like TikTok videos. But I went to a Sony party that was on a barge and then they had a separate barge and there were like DJs playing, and I was just like, "Who are those dudes in like funny hats?" They were like, "Oh, that's Empire of the Sun." And oh I was like, <laughs> was, it, "Was it the Sony?" I was like, "Are they uh, a DJ or what?" <laughs> was it the Sony War for Ward thing? Because I saw John Farnham play. No, this but year. no, 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 no. Oh, was, that was the uh, was... Sony Foundation thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They was always, it... I mean, Sony Foundation thing it, goes off. Oh, mm. it, it went hard as hell. Yeah. Great food, and I saw John Farnham. Yeah. Was it John that's Farnham or Daryl? Braithwaite. Braithwaite. Oh. It was John Farnham. Wait. I voice? think it was Dale Braithwaite. You know, the voice is John Farnham. You're the voice here, okay. John Farnham. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. well then, yeah. You're I feel like I saw the, footage the, of the Sony Braithwaite ones have always been kind of a weird, because game, oh, game industry horses? events. It was horses. <laughs> game industry <laughs> events are always like the same guy. a certain type of nerdy crowd, but mm. Sony, because they have access to like the glitz and glamour of the mu- music they industry. The mm. publishing, music publishing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And very yeah. rarely there would be some crossover. There was one thing that I went to that was for SingStar. Yes. Which was their like singing, you know, music game, yeah. and and Jamiroquai played, and oh. it was just like a bunch of like models and people that that like that they'd gotten from like the Australian whatever B list celebrity <laughs> list. Whoever was on Big Brother that year, yeah, yeah. and then just a bunch of journos in cargo shorts. It was just like <laughs> this very, and they had like models that were like you know like nude but painted and body paint and stuff yeah, like yeah. lying on deck chairs, and then just like a bunch of nerds. We were all just like it was felt like the weirdest cross section of people and it's pretty unre- pretty unrelatable stories that are happening right here i know but, but it, they, wow. they are some of the some of the perks it's, of uh the perks of working but, in a tech but industry also about a long time ago a long time it's ago very that stuff different doesn't happen. Doesn't happen so now. crazy i'm yeah. popping my <laughs> i would be losing my mind yeah yeah, yeah. and now i just go to wild. an event and i like what which is there yeah, I, used, I eat some food. Uh, I maybe put my hand in something, and then I maybe, yeah, go, yeah. Mm, maybe we, go to the toilet. We used to be able to like yeah. as long as it's in that order. We used yeah. to yeah. Yeah. craft <laughs> beautiful stories about things and developers and stuff, and now it's just like I pitch ideas, and and the feedback will always be like, "Or could you just make a thirty second TikTok about it?" And I'm yeah, like, yeah. Well, we're gonna need three sure. stories on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's just the way it's gone. Now we're just gonna find a way to make it cool again. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to give the theatre kids something to do. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I love seeing theatre kids at, at uh, uh, game events um, when they, they are hired to be like a certain character and they go yeah. for their life. And yeah. they really commit. I love it. I live for it. <laughs> yeah. I, I have, there's one guy who I see at every single event who I love. 
so deeply. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, I am his biggest fan. Adoring fan? Adoring fan. And it yeah. is adoring. <laughs> he was adoring, adoring fan at the fan? Starfield event. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I've I seen him that. at two events prior to that. It was a Death Isle, De- a Dead Island 2 mm-hmm. at Big Daddy's Burger. And it was um, then a PlayStation VR event. And that guy absolutely rocked. He uh, uh, gave it his all mm. every single time. Mm. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, working to become an actor, um, you know, trying to get some, some gigs and stuff. And I'm like, awesome. He's beautiful. Bless. Like, like got that, got that actor face. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and right. chisel from stone. Chisel, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he puts his everything into it. And I love him. I cannot remember his name. So you really love him. Yeah. <clears throat> it was yeah. George Clooney. Oh, my days. I reckon he's got a shot. Yeah, I believe in at him. At George Clooney? No, George Clooney has a shot at making Oh, he it. could be big. Yeah, I yeah. feel like there's good things <laughs> in his future. If he marries well. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be it. Crucially. <laughs> I constantly think of all the good things I could do once I get married well. Okay. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> Who's it? What's your target? Rich. Just yeah. Rich. Well, yeah. Obsessed with me. Okay, that's I a just good metric. Yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm filthy just amounts of adoring me. Yeah, <laughs> and five arms. Look, yeah, Give I mean, aim, why not? Yeah, yeah. if it's yeah. your if it's your yeah. dream man, it can be anything. Yeah, mm. and one gun. Mm. One gun. Five arms. One, one gun. gun. And like he can bi- like juggle it. Yeah, he, and he hates using it. He just juggles. It yeah, he's just holding it. He's like, I don't want to hold this. Yeah. Why does, he, uh-huh. why does he have a gun at all? Uh, to juggle. Yeah. What else it's are you going to juggle? It's for entertainment. Yeah. And he's also, got five arms, you know how there are those games where it's like, which cup is the marble underneath? It's like that, but guns. Yeah, which gun is the which hand gu- in? <laughs> Wait, uh. what? which hand is the gun in? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm- yeah. It's a gun that shoots tiny little hands. Yes. Oh. Yes, and then they grab you. <laughs> yeah. I'd marry him. That hey, should we get on with the show? Time. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, be a great why time. don't we get on with a little bit of backup? Maybe. Yeah. A little bit of backup. Let's do it. Hey, bestie bitches, it's a little bit of backup. Oh, wow. (laughs) I'm told that I can start these segments any way I like. Uh, (laughs) You know, when we talk about gaming news or the internet moments of the week, day, time, who knows? Of the time. I think of a time. Of a time. This time, right now. And it's sponsored by Muso for Hire. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, I talked over it. Pokemon. I'm so sorry. I like a little Cute. little Pokemon noise. Oh, Pokemon. Uh, it's brought to you by Muso for Hire with a little bit of backup and our sponsored Muso for Hire segment. We find an item for hire from an online source. It could be anything, and everyone has to guess how much it costs. All right. This is from the website, achildsjoy.net. Oh, no. Oh, That's a terrifying Quality children's entertainment. Okay. Voted best of Phoenix by the New Times, not the New York Times. The New Times. The New Times. Not the old times. In Phoenix, not the old times, the New Times. And what we've got for hire is a donkey. Uh, uh, a miniature re- Sicilian donkey. Ooh. Sicilian donkey. Well, that ups the price, miniature surely. Sicilian donkey is a great addition to any kind of event. Most popular at holiday time. So be sure to reserve in advance. Uh, this is per hour. Okay. Ooh, okay. Donkey hire. Oh. Per hour donkey. Mini donkey hire. Mini donkey. And it's in US dollars. Right. Okay. I was going to ask, is it in Sicily? Because it'd be a way cheaper. You don't have to import it. <laughs> then it's just a donkey. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. Still miniature, still cute. But Donkeys mm, are so Sicilian. cute. I love the fact that like when they do their hee-haw, it kind of builds inside them. Yeah. Like you can hear them go. <laughs> it's a real like inhale. On yeah. The- yeah. 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 And then it kind of bursts out of them like. Oh, oh, oh it's so yeah. cute. Yeah, that's yeah. I love. Yeah. I love donkeys. I love I'm the best. a big fan. Yeah. yeah. I'm, we know that about you. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna aim low for a donkey, Sicilian or no, because mm. in America you can like rent a tiger. You can do anything like in America. Like you can do anything in America. It's, it's the land, land of the free. Of the free. Mm. It's the land of the free. Uh, so I'm going to say a donkey, dime a dozen, not quite that cheap. What? I'm going to say you can get a donkey for like 50 US dollars an hour. An hour? Okay. But, but, but Wait, mi- how long do we get them for? 
Um, but it's you just by hour. By hour. You have the donkey for, for like a good a amount of time. I yeah. don't want to like I want a donkey for a day. in donkey goodbye barely any. So are we guessing time. per hour? <laughs> yeah. Lord Phoenix says it depends what you're renting it for, um, <laughs> which is mean? ominous. What does that mean? In its implications, kind of scary. Um, <laughs> it's a miniature donkey, and yeah. it is Sicilian. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm um, an hour. I'm gonna say f- I'd say like 48 Australian. So let's say like. 30. That's two. Okay. That's so $32 I, an hour. Yeah. $50, $50 an, hour. an hour. I feel like I would pay so much more for the privilege of being in a miniature in donkey's a presence. Yeah, I feel that. Um, and also I feel like mini things, because they're like mini by design, are often like a little bit more expensive. Like a bonsai fancy. tree. Mm. Like, yeah. Why are you paying $5,000 for a tiny tree? So I'm going to go a little bit bigger. What did you say? Like 30 32 30, I think I said 30 50. No, see, I think for an hour of donkey Fun and like amusement. Donkey fun. It's in Sicilia. It's yeah. in not in Sicily. That <laughs> no, would no, be no. no, no. no. Um, I'm gonna say like seventy bucks. Seventy bucks US. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't know conversions. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I don't know maths. So that's a lot of money. Yeah, but maybe not. Are we all comfortable with our decisions? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. say seventy Australian. That's what I Seventy Australian, Australian dollars, yeah. which is like less US. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like fifty. Not 50. as much. That seems yeah. right. So I just want to start by saying, how dare all of you, (laughs) how dare all of you undervalue the perfect opportunity to spend time with a cute miniature Sicilian donkey, which I might add is a great addition to any kind of event. Any, any kind of any event. Any kind of holiday and event. especially the popular holidays. holiday yeah, yeah, yeah. time. Oh, because of the, the, the thingy. That's right. Yeah. The, the thingy. The, the, um, with, when they have the donkeys for the... Pin the tail on the donkey. You mean, no. Do you mean Cinco de Mayo? Uh, no. Or the nativity scene? Nativity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of oh. They have donkeys so for that. That's, that's why. why. Yes. All of you. Oh my gosh, and you could have kids dressed up as the, as as the other ones. As, yeah, and then you'd have the miniature beard. donkey yeah. that would yeah. be proportionate I'm to the size of the children. Little donkey. I'm going to email a child's joy and let them know then none of you can hire a donkey Where when you wow. are in Phoenix. I'd take right. good care of it. Or I you just can. wouldn't. I don't care. Oh. I won't send an email. I'm not going to do that. 150 US dollars per hour to hire. That seems reasonable. And you a cute when I donkey. said 70 US. Rectech yeah. says next, next guest at a Sony barge party yeah. mini donkey. <laughs> it, okay, they can afford, they I, can afford heaps of mini if donkeys. If I saw a yeah. mini donkey at a games <laughs> event, I'd be so fucking they stoked. They have an army <laughs> of those things. I'd oh, yeah. be so stoked. I'd lose my absolute mind. Mm. Yeah. So you're at all wrong. At least one. That's I feel okay. like you Z should get more than it. one. Yeah. Stream got it. Yeah. Also, what do you win? Um, you A miniature donkey. You win this. That was beautiful. It's the, what the baby does in Death Stranding. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what you win. Nice. And you can get a real loud hee <laughs> haw out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Um, so congrats. Anyway, a little bit of backup. Mm-hmm. And what we're talking about this backup, because it's fairly recent, if not happened today. What in God's name is Silent Hill Ascension? <laughs> Good Silent question. Hill Ascension uh, premiered. You'd pretty much call it that. Yeah. Premiered, launched on October 31st, the spooky day. And with it came a lot of people going, oh, are you freaking for real, right? (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of weird and bad. It's a mix between a massively multiplayer online game and a Netflix interactive show. Which are two very different things. Mm. Two very different things. Each week people vote. I think each week, but it's also like you have 48 hours to vote, I think, but also not. It's very hard to explain. So there's like a voting window that happens each there's week. There's a voting yeah. window that happens each every few days um, where, where you happens. choose what the characters will do in the each episode. And it's, uh, I think, live streamed every day. Mm. Oh, so you can. For five or so minutes. And uh, it's just yeah, scenes. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Every day is a, a single scene uh, that is. The actions done in the scene are decided on by the public. And uh, th- at the end of the week 
it's a whole episode that has been made up. Right. Okay. okay. But right. but 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 when you're voting, you have to vote in the moment. You you can no. You get you a don't have too. to vote during the live stream. Okay. You can right. vote, but you can. I, I think like I think the most succinct breakdown I saw of this is it, it is going to be it's this episodic thing that is being released in chunks, but the episodes are coming over the next months. Mm. And what we're watching is episode one broken into pieces, and each piece has a an interactive uh, question attached to it mm. that the audience can vote on. And so that will affect the next time that character appears a month down the line. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's how the audience is playing this thing is by telling, basically until dawn, the audience is saying, I'm going to make this decision and then that will affect the story yeah. the next time we see that. And it's done through a browser and... Uh, we, the way that you vote for what the characters do in game is with influence points, and these influence points you get. I think you're given two thousand when you when you sign up. When mm-hmm. you log it feels in. like a lot. Yeah, which is you think is a lot, but it's two hundred points to vote on you something. Yeah, ten votes. Oh, yeah, and you uh, you keep voting, and if you keep voting, you get more points until you don't anymore, <laughs> and. Can, do you get points just by watching? You get points, I think, by watching, uh, uh, also by playing the puzzles that are in the game that are very, very simple, basic, boring, boring yeah. puzzles gotcha. that include like doing like a like a Wordle type thing, except if Wordle had only five letters uh, to choose from, uh, which is super easy. And <laughs> sure, then sure. also, and that's the free puzzle. So yeah, but that's the free puzzle. You get. There she is. <laughs> there she is. Yeah, the currency that people can can accumulate to inter, to engage with the game part of this, uh, they get by watching, and then they also get by uh, interacting with the puzzles. However, if you buy the premium version, which is it, yeah. thirty bucks or something, so Australian the microtransactions are weird. You pay money to get more pull over what happens in every episode, but not enough to completely sway the show, um, and like stuff for your shitty little character. Um, the, the shitty little character, which also, quote unquote, has the opportunity to show up in the show. So if you buy like enough cool items for the, your character to wear, which you can only do so through the season pass, oh my they God. might show up They'll in the show. In the background at the cafe Whoa, scene. No awesome. way. And uh, we're, we're, we're shit talking. This all... Ignoring the microtransaction stuff, this all sounds like a cool idea. It's a very interesting concept. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's like when Netflix introduced the interactive series and everybody's like, whoa. Yeah. Mm. But they took that idea and went, well, what if also everybody else too? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. you make decisions once. in the show. Awesome. What if you did, but also everybody else did, and then there were also people who spent money to make more <laughs> decisions. Yeah. So if you, so you can buy more influence points to have more influence. Yeah. Yes. Which is yeah. which, which is shitty. The thing that I thought as well, just from looking at it from a narrative storytelling, interactive storytelling perspective, is that like it's a it's a game that involves moral choices, right? Yeah. And the interesting thing about moral choices in video games and uh, particularly when it's like you're having access to crowdsourced decision making is trying to figure out what the right choice is and knowing and not knowing if that is going to affect the outcome in the way that you want it to and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But the choices that you're presented with are like blue peace option, red skull option, and then like it's middle, so white, white middle. White middle. So Suffering. it's like, do you want to be a shithead or do you want to be yeah. good? Do you want, do you want to be nice? Or suffer. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, okay. and it's like, the well, choice is yours. That's like, to me, that's so uninteresting. Like shitty dark pictures anthology. <laughs> yeah. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. so even, which, in, even which, in Until Dawn, you're choosing between things where you're like, I, this seems like the right mm. choice, but I don't and know if it will be Because it's like, yeah. is it run or hide? And that that's not um, that's not a moral decision. That's a it's a it choice. Go, it, it's yeah. a choice. It could go and, either well, way. Well, yeah. It, and, but even the ones that weren't as simple as run or hide, it was just like, all right, we should go back to the house and like and and talk to Sarah about this or whatever. Yeah. And it'd be like, okay, well, yeah, it would be good good to talk to Sarah because we, she's there by herself. But if we leave Jim, then he might get fucked on by this other thing. Yeah. So mm. you're trying to like use the mm. information you have to make informed choices, and, and um, there's none of that. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's it's not your story. Yeah. yeah. If I think, you play through this whole thing, you don't get to tell your story necessarily. Yeah. yeah. And also notoriously, people in large groups who vote with money Bodie McBoat face can it. never go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Bodie McBoat <laughs> face uh, it. Uh, another thing that happens with the puzzles is if you play certain puzzles, um, I think it gives 
uh, uh, characters in the game, quote unquote, hope to kind of keep going, <laughs> which is so weird and strange, kind of like more of an incentive to play the really shitty puzzles because they're like, how can we make this interesting? Okay, it gives you voting power, but it also makes the characters happy. <laughs> it's just like, okay. The whole thing plays out exactly as it would, but the character model is smiling yeah. more. <laughs> like, there's only one free puzzle and one free game. Um, I think the puzzle, yeah, the puzzle's like the code thing and the game's like, uh, uh, like you play the guitar and it's like Silent Hill music. I don't know. Mm. It's not good. Right. Um, the, it's and not take on me, then I don't want to know. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what the game is. But how has it played out so far? Well, the voting thing, Wah. but <laughs> the interesting thing is the live chat because Ooh. there is a live chat feature that shows up next to the game. And, and this is almost it, like their own browser thing. It's yeah, not it's, like the, it's, a, not yeah. Twitch, it's not Twitch or YouTube. It's not YouTube. Okay. It is their own browser. And the chat was uh, apparently had a, an AI filtration system and, and the, the devs put in stop words, right? So some stop words worked, like apparently, allegedly, according to online sources, scam worked yeah. and Hideo Kojima worked. Yeah. And they got blocked. What didn't work, apparently, was the hard N word. Uh, yeah. No. People could post oh, that. Shit. No problem. Isn't that part of every like auto based like moderation, moderation system? Yeah. system? It yeah. should be. Yeah. yeah. Along apparently with it was like, just, uh, apparently the whole system. Apparently just wasn't it just broke. It, uh, it just oh, broke. Okay. So yeah. so it didn't block it. Kojima's so, fine though. Uh, but Kojima's fine. Uh, the life Someone so I saw people could write uh, Kojima cummies in my tummy. Yeah. <laughs> So Hideo that Kojima was coming in my uh -huh. in the chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. And uh, the live chat got taken down after a day. But apparently, once again, according to online sources, uh, has returned with only the option to post in chat with stickers. Um uh, extra cool. stickers you can, can get. You buy new can stickers? you buy them? Season pass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although those in uh, those who have the season pass can still type in chat. Um, so they can still type in chat. So you can pay twenty eight dollars to type in chat. Yeah. Uh, but if you don't same. pay that oh, cool. money, wow. you, you, you live in yeah, as I'm going to say, uh, uh, emoji only baby chill. Yeah. <laughs> and is it just like a region based live stream? Like it's not just like e the well, whole world. The whole world. I mean, yeah. everyone. It's, it's, yeah. it's just you know, it's a certain time, so yeah. it's probably not in. It's our live time, a certain so. time, but you mm. can then watch it. Okay. Whenever, or maybe yeah, you can. And then you get you forty-eight can play hours after. Whenever. Yeah, you so, can. Yeah. And then you get forty-eight hours to interact with the interactable element. Of yeah. It. Okay. Are there language like settings and stuff? Like. Um, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um. And so it's it's doing. It's doing. They get, obviously they're committed <laughs> to. Happening. It's yeah. not like they've they've just released one episode and they're like, let's see how it goes, and then we'll make more. They have a plan. There's going to be more. Mm. This is uh canon. These are the new. Oh. Silent Hill oh. characters. Some of them may be built to die or fail or whatever, but what's happening in this is meant to inform the next Silent Hill project also um, because they are working on more standard Silent Hill titles. So, See, the problem is, is like, I feel <laughs> like it's the, the, the way this is, is going to have a negative effect on, cause like these might be really well-written characters, mm. very, very interesting characters, but the problem is this format that they've put it in will make people automatically dislike them, mm. which is such a shame. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I, I struggle a lot with those sorts of like everybody chooses and it's the group vote thing because I am very particular with how mm. I like my narratives to mm. go. Yeah. yeah, and if everybody else picks something and I don't, I'm just not going to watch the rest oh, yeah. of it. Yeah, like I, I like yeah. I I like um I like when uh, when you're streaming how you can have the audience mm. option, but I also like having the ability to override. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. actually, no. I'll do that every time. Yeah. 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 This might be controversial and brave of me to say, but when I play game, I like the choice I make to be my choice that I make in mm. the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I do I do I walk forward in the game and in the game I go 
of four you know? yeah. <laughs> but do you ever do that thing like if you've played a narrative game and you make a choice and then it shows you the stats at the end and you're like in three percent of the people that have made that <laughs> yeah. choice and you're like like, uh, oh. like the walking dead like, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, uh, the original telltales the walking dead they would do that at the end of the run yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah, totally yeah. Yeah. but that's what i mean it gives you that feeling of like oh if i'm in the minority like what am i missing is everyone else yeah it's kind of cool having that like in real time to make a choice and then see everyone in chat has voted mm. like super in the opposite direction mm. and sometimes it might be a troll sure but a lot of the time mm. it's just that people are thinking in a different way yeah. it's so crazy because i wasn't yeah. expecting them to be absolute knocks because there's <laughs> one no. choice that you make where like you're you're the, you're the lady right astrid great name mm. um cool uh name. you're astrid and like you find a syringe and uh you're also like your mom dead but your uh your dad like come into the room and you're like, bah, what the deal? And he's like, yeah, it for her medicine, uh, but you're suspicious. So you oh have the God. options <laughs> to do some stuff. And so your options are destroy <laughs> the syringe. Uh, so the implication- uh, put, put it back or take it to the police. And the top voted choice at the moment is take it to the police. And it's like, don't talk to cops. Snitches yeah, no. get stitches. Snitches get stab stitches. Stab your dad in the neck with a so, syringe. So, so the scenario Vertical is limit him. You, you've walked in, <laughs> your your mother is dead and your dad is standing there and there's a syringe next to her. I think your mum's been Your mum been dead, dead for a while, she's, she's, Yeah. Dad's think, been using mum's medical sur- medicinal syringes to get a little high. Is that true? Yeah, oh, I don't know. I assume uh, so. You can Maybe. say whatever you want. Can you defame a video game? <laughs> uh... Well, I, I mean, no. yeah. I mean, my yeah, instinct okay. is that it it a it's company maybe it's yeah. implicated to make him look guilty, but it's probably a red herring. But your options are dob him in, uh, destroy the evidence, or, or just put it back, just, just, like, or just back. pretend Nobody's you business. were never here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would I would always choose pretend you're never here. Yeah, not my pro- not my monkeys, not my circus. It's your mom, mm. not my spooky yeah, monkeys, like, not my spooky circus. You can't do anything for her at that point. And if if now. you've just mm. got this syringe that Daddy's been handling. Put it back. Yeah. yeah. No touch. Yeah. Uh, BMAC says, no, you cannot defame a video game, but you can defame the video game company or employees. So won't be doing that. No. But did we you know never. that the original Gex had a lot of sexual content? Prove me wrong. I thought you were going to say appeal. Oh, I mean, I mean, that's not fake. No, that's not. <laughs> that is That's true. not defamatory. I don't that's think he'd be sexy until he had the suit on, the tuxedo. Yeah. And then he took it off. I mean, anyone looks yeah. good in a suit. <laughs> yeah, true. So. True. Uh, true. All right, well, that's that thing. That's, that's going to keep happening. <laughs> that's the news. That's yeah. it. Is that that's the news? it. That's, that's going to keep at. happening. Oh, wait, I can't uh, wait gonna to check in? back in and see how it's going. Yeah. I yeah, want to we'll put the syringe back. Yeah. And I want to do it. And I want to try mm-hmm. and type Hideo Kojima in the chat and nothing else. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I think it's about time we have a look at what we've been playing. Yeah. You don't need that for this. Welcome to what we've been playing, a part of the show where we talk about the games that we've been playing this week and beyond, because I've been playing my game for a long time. Yeah, beyond backwards. Beyond backwards yep. and forwards. Um, and this segment is brought to us by a lovely <laughs> patron uh, who we like to call Nicrotex, um, and other people call him Nicrogex. <gasps> Ooh, because of the sexual content. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he's a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? Like, um, can you defame a Nicrotex? <laughs> can, you defame a, can you defame a lizard? <laughs> um, Nicrotex, thank you so much for supporting the show. Every week when we uh, celebrate Nicrotex for being um, one of our beloved patrons, we read out one of Nicrotex's tweets. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually have this one memorized. You know it by heart. It's short. Yeah. Um, can you read in it? In May. Can you read it like uh, a, a philosopher would? Can you yeah, say sure. it like yeah. a philosopher would? Yeah. Uh, yeah. In May of this year, yeah. Nicrotex tweeted, Ham must always be wet. <laughs> and that's Discuss. the taste. That's so it's actually so true. I Have you ever like, like slapped a piece of ham onto a counter before? Yeah, but it, my understanding is that you when have? you have, when, when, <laughs> yeah, I think that's just how you put it down. Yeah, uh, onto yeah. a counter, like a whole leg. Yeah, okay. Go, no, 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 no. Like a slice of ham. Oh. Yeah, slap. Just to see what the well, noise makes. Well, I think makes. when I'm trying to make like a like Never a done. cheese board or something, and I want to put some sort of uh, cured meat 
Um, mm. You know, uh, it's just like it. If you want it to fall casually, like it's um, been uh, rustically um, strewn, yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to slap it. What yeah, are yeah. your I mean, three antipasto meats that you put on? I have strong uh, opinions about yeah. this. Oh, I have yeah. very strong opinions. Okay. I like just like a good prosciutto. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I'll go up to the, like the one that's like more expensive Too than expensive. the one that's in the Too like expensive? than like than primo mm, or whatever. Yeah, like no. you know, I like a. <laughs> A Hungarian salami because the, I'm the weak. hot, the hot one or the mild one. Mild because I'm weak. Oh, that's oh, okay. Okay, but the, um, the prosciutto is already try. mild. Yeah, yeah. You don't want a little bit of spice? Yeah, just a little. A little. That's usually it. I usually don't go more than two meats. Really? What? Why are we? Oh. Why are we moving away from wet ham? This is um, a, this is a way less interesting conversation than wet ham. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What are your thoughts on wet ham? Yeah. That, uh, there are too many types of ham. I think it's a problem we're discovering with you can put three different types of fucking meat. It's all the same meat. They just put but smoked it differently. But it's or different. cut it differently. It's my it's issue. Different. I thought when ham gets bad, doesn't it get doesn't it get that kind of filmy? Yeah. Mm. Ham off the bone should not be wet. Um uh, ham off but, the bone should not be wet. But wet on the inside. No. Pig. No, wet I would say inside. I would say it should no. be pig, I should, it should be wet on the outside from the delicious orange glaze. Pig, yeah. wet, mm. pig wet on the inside. Yeah. Pig wet on the inside until you kill it and put it in the <laughs> so oven. True. Science is proven. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Would you know the wet on the inside? It shouldn't be yeah. like pigs. It shouldn't mm. be dry. Well, but that's like saying all steaks are wet. Well, if you put if you a, put a right, glass of water over them, if you do yeah. it right, <laughs> they shouldn't be red. dry. But no. what does wet mean in relation to the ham? Well, How well wet? if you, if you pick it up and then you put it back down, and it drips? maybe you slap it down on the counter yeah, okay. if you're feeling like you I mean, need I, to. this like, like, implies that Nicrotex has had a dry ham experience and yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. been a good one, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So uh, I'm anyway, really... Anyway, ham's not that great anyway. No, so, mortadella is better. Oh! That's a oh, choice. You, it's, you That's hate, a choice. You, wow. you hate olives. I, I hate olives, yeah. but yeah. also rocks. prosciutto and pancetta are the oh, top pancetta is amazing. Pancetta, especially pancetta if it's got like a little bit of spice, else. like yeah. not enough that it's like punched to the face. Yeah, yeah, totally. Do you, like a, then, do you like a speck? I mean, I could, I could take or leave speck. But I, I've I had it and enjoyed it. I love spec. chewing speck. You got to fry speck. I like to chew. I thought speck and pancetta were the same thing. It's uh, it's like saying well, that it's like saying that prosciutto and the other bacons. one are the same. What's the other what's one? What's the other one? J it starts with J. Jamon. Jamon. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jamon. It is. There's Jam a there's Jam a legitimate on. divide <laughs> in yeah. my Italian family over whether prosciutto is better than jamon. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's. There's been fights. Yeah. It is jamon, right? It's like, jamon. that's the Spanish one? Like so, the yeah. Spanish my, preparation my dad's, of the my, same meat? My dad is Argentinian, so he would say jamon every yeah. time. Jamon. Yeah. But see, that's the thing. If I go out and I'm at a restaurant or a deli or whatever, and I say, I want the prosciutto, I look like a wanker for saying it anyway, other than yeah. prosciutto. I, it's, I say prosciutto. Yeah, you got to say prosciutto. It's, it's, it's say difficult. Prosciutto. It's difficult, isn't it? It's, it's, like, it's like when you go to, to a bakery and you ask for a croissant. Mm. Mm, uh, I a once, croissant. Uh, when I was in Croatia with my little sister, we were at a party and she once ate an entire raw onion and won a packet of prosciutto and she didn't like prosciutto, so I got to have it. And your and sister's name an was Tony that. Abbott. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she ate. The She's doing so well. The two girls. She's yeah, doing right? really great. Yeah. yeah. Shame about in her, the in her field. She's really killing it. Yeah. But, I mean, a what? bit of an asshole. She's also yeah. uh, slaying as well. She's mm. slaying. Yeah. I have to. I have to uh, but I think we can all agree, Gavin, the king of meat. <laughs> Uh, should we get on with what we've been playing? Yes. <laughs> Why don't you start us off, Peter? <laughs> yes. You, you said it. this. True facts. Peter said to me, this game that he's been playing is his game of the year. I reckon it might be. Big call. I'm not finished yet, but uh, I'm playing Alan Wake 2. Bum, bum. Alan Wake 2. There it is. Alan Wake 2. Uh, Alan. Owen. Well, Owen. Remedy. He's awake. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Oh, he can wake up. up. Oh, Re back to bring Baby. it. When I was looking through Nicrotex's tweets, he said, I've been waiting 14 years for this game. And I was like, That's what? Completely different. Yeah. Two, uh, so Alan, the original Alan Wake uh, came out in 2010. What? Yay. So uh, we have been That's waiting a long crazy. time. There was DLC for that original Alan Wake, but uh, Remedy have obviously gone on to make a bunch of games. Quantum Break. Uh, was uh, kind of their, um, I think there was kind of like a return for them. They disappeared for a few years uh, and then um, they've done uh, Control, obviously, more recently, which had large critical acclaim. Um, wow. Was that me? Oh, my God. 
That was, <laughs> it was Bob. Bob. What oh, happened? Oh my gosh, happened? Bob, why? Are we yeah. on to? Oh, no. Is it because you're talking about Alan Wake 2? He's awake. No, he fell asleep. No, it was, <laughs> no, listen, Bob heard that it had been 14 years since the first <laughs> like, Alan wow. Wake and he just fainted. Did he die? <laughs> that was oh. so scary. Oh my God. That timing was weird. What What knocked the floor Sc- to make Scotty that happen? did not flinch. Didn't, no, she still not even her reaction. Yeah. Uh, so Alan happen. Wake 2 is a, um, it's a, not a horror game, but it is kind of pitched as one. It's kind of like a, a, a psychological thriller game. Uh, you play as Alan Wake, but you also play as a character called Saga. Mm. Uh, and it is a... Is that Saga? That is Saga. It's a third person. Which one? Uh, the FBI agent. That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> female body inspector. <laughs> the female body inspector. Uh, it is a third person <laughs> action thriller, basically. Um, you... A, uh, you are a detective as an FBI agent um, and in a similar way you're a detective as Alan Wake in um, in crafting a story. Mm. You're, uh, so the characters kind of interact with the world in similar ways but they are like two sides of the same coin kind of thing in that they, um, w- without, I don't want to spoil the story but uh, the characters are linked Uh, in that they're communicating across dimensions. At the end of the original Alan Wake, Alan Wake disappears and we pick up in almost like a real world kind of uh, um, version of like we're 13 years later in the game, Mm. we're 13 years later in real life. Uh, They're connected. The universe of control and Alan Wake exist in the same space. All of the kind of work that Remedy has done in world building over the last decade is present in this game and talks back to the original. Um, and so there's quite a, a cool tapestry of um, uh, just world building and um, and mystery and intrigue cool. around all that that mm. plays into the, the thriller stuff. This game could probably exist as standalone, but I think it benefits from the other titles that uh, play in the same space um, just by giving it this... Almost like it's overplayed these days, but like almost this multiversal kind of like sure, yeah. uh, element to it. Um, the way that the game kind of drip feeds um, gear and upgrades and uh, you you pace your way through the story. It's just really beautifully paced. And it's the story does things that uh, will delight, uh, no matter if you're into this kind of game or not. It, it's delightful. They... Always do quirky stuff in their games. Um, I feel like Remedy are one of those studios that are a, a triple A kind of classed studio, but they pull from quirky indie design philosophy more than a lot of other triple A studios that play safe. You know, you would never see, you see Call of Duty do some fun things from time to time, but never anything so weird mm. that it would put yeah. the gamer boys off. Alan Wake is not afraid of being weird. Trying to confuse you mm. by going, oh, we're this type of game at the moment. Just right now, we're this type of game. Hold on. Yeah. This type of game. You were, we, just, just, just for a minute. Five minutes ago, we were this type of game. Now we're this type of game. Just on your toes. Uh, it's, toes. Toes. Yeah, but <clears throat> I, I adore the feeling that this game gives me, which is, um, yeah, again, in that thriller sense, just uncomfortable. Constantly uncomfortable. Oh, yuck. Oh, oh my like gosh. That. Don't do that. Oh, it's... Is it the oh. big, it's like, is that an, it's like an allegory of the female <laughs> experience. It's a, it's oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're always wondering, is that Bigfoot? <laughs> Every single day that you I know, my house. women can see Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you think. Uh... I also feel like they pull from cinema tropes by more oh, games. Oh, uh, go away. Oh, sorry. Like yeah, I mean, boy. this is definitely like a video gamey video game. For, I, oh, I, I like played... Um, sorry, go ahead. No, I like I like it when it comes at you and it's really, like, looming. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy that in a game. For people who've played Resident Evil, like, this game and the original Alan Wake was always trying to feel Resident Evil in its gameplay, but it is way less action than Resident Evil. And to me, that plays way better. Mm. I was playing Resident Evil 4 early in the year and I know people, a lot of people love it. I didn't I didn't like the combat so much, but I also didn't like that there was so much combat because it, it they they're much uh both of these games Resident Evil 4 and Alan Wake 2 are odd games 
Alan Wake 2 is odd in its game design and its presentation, and Resident Evil is odd in being, like, uh, over the top and extreme. Mm. And so that's where the humor comes from, is, mm. like, it's quirky because it's ridiculous, whereas this is just quirky. <laughs> mm. uh, and I, re I really just gro groove with this game so mm. hard. You got to groove. Is it I, also yeah. scary? It's scary. As, it is scary. Like it's it's a uh, it's I've, tense, I've, scary. Not um, there's mm. jump scares for sure. They play with tension and jump scare and like tension and release, tension mm. and release. I did a fight. It's um uh, and again I won't spoil it, but for people who have played um the uh, uh there's a, a nursing home that you go to and the boss fight at the end of that chapter. Um and again I say boss fight. These boss fights aren't particularly boss fighty. It's not like. Suddenly, you need a million bullets to take these things down. Just the last meme. It's just it's meme. the last it's the last encounter. It's the it's the story based encounter attached to that chapter. So it always feels like the um, conclusion of uh, your interaction with the thing that has been giving you uh, purpose for the for the last few hours of gameplay, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to it being like now the big thing, get out the big guns. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's it's always a the arena that you play in is makes sense uh, is tied into the mm. story so is the action because i remember oh. the, the um the the thing with the original alan wake was using light a lot as a combat mechanic -y thing yeah is that still the through line of this yeah and now ray tracing is a thing uh, uh, and mm. it goes even harder and uh i, I mean i would I'm pretty confident in saying this is the best looking game I've played this it year. It looks fantastic. It, uh, yeah. really, the really the really close-up shots of her yeah. face, I am transfixed. Yeah. Yeah. It's such it's such good character design yeah. and modeling and her skin texture and everything about it looks unreal. I think for me, I, I enjoy playing scary games when it's tense scary. Yeah. I don't like I don't typically like a like a dead space or that kind of thing where it's like um it's tense, but then it's also a lot of um, super scary, intense action where you just get overwhelmed by fucking scary shit and jump scares at the same time. Is it that? Alan Wake is like the the you can basically disengage from every encounter in this game. There are there are a few that you can't, but like there are guns in the game, but your torch is a tool and you pick up batteries. Mm. Um, the way that the kind of the survival part of the thriller seems to work is it's contextual that Ooh. you will Fighting. you. You can open you can open boxes and they'll have nothing in them if you've got too much ammo already. Like if it deems based uh, on the difficulty setting, it's like oh you've got enough ammo for the next encounter. Oh, don't wow. be greedy. So you don't get any more. Yeah. But um, I know I was chatting to Gus who is definitely not loving it as much as I am, um, but still enjoying it I think. But drop the difficulty down to just get through the story um, as opposed to some of the encounters that. Uh, it's crazy because he's in the game. Mm. He is in the game. He is Alan Wake, <laughs> yeah. guaranteed. Yeah. Um, but so he's saying how how he keeps finding a bunch of items, and I I've opened plenty of chests that have nothing in them just because I've I'm already mm. too equipped. But I sorry, the I, I imagine I'll open a lot of chests in this game, and there'll be lots of things in there for me. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you set the difficulty, I, I think that's how. I'm pretty sure that's the game how will be like. You know what? You need it. You um, yeah. But the torch, the torch, uh, you get batteries for, so you can you can like uh, basically remove the darkness shield from people so that they have. Uh, they take less damage to, to kill, um, but they, it also stuns them so you can disengage. There are flares so you can throw them into a group of them and they all are, are interacting, like they're all stunned by that. So you can, again, disengage. Are you playing I, this with a controller? I am playing with a controller, yeah. I'm playing on PC with a controller. Um, most third-person games to me feel better with a controller. Um, I, tend to, I tend to lean towards controller. But, uh, yeah, I... I I just think it is a game that every, there's Gus. Oh, uh, yeah. Or is. Mr. Wake himself. Um, <laughs> and there's Scratch. Uh, so Alan Wake is psychologically traumatized and uh, you are trying to work out. Basically, the whole story is about what's the deal with Alan? What's the deal with <laughs> Alan? What's the deal what's the with deal Alan? With Alan? Alan? Uh, yeah. Uh, I am, I'm adoring it. I'm into uh, – I've played – I. I'm obsessed with – Check in every nook and cranny. Mm. It's like meant to be a 15 hour game. I'm 14 hours in and <laughs> I still have a whole act left. So you're, I'm, you're dragging it I'm out. I'm going to be yeah. like 17 hour completion, I think, I, on I this love that. playthrough. I love so that. Um, it's a good yeah. feeling. I, I implore everyone to play it. But I think that uh, I think that is less scary than even a Resident Evil in terms of like how overwhelming can, it can be from time to time. And why is Gus not enjoying it as much? Oh, he was just, he just, uh, 
is bad at shooters. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. So. yeah. He just doesn't yeah. like it because he's bad. <laughs> he's bad. Classic. <laughs> no, I think he, yeah, he was just, he, he wants the story and there's a, there's gameplay that gets in the way of that for him. Fair, yeah. Yeah, mm. um, yeah Alan Wake 2. Love story. Play it. Mm. Play okay. it. All right. Nice. Cool. If you All insist. Right. Uh, I do. Okay. Who's next? God. Well, <laughs> <Steph>. Is it <laughs> me? Well, we, went it through, me? we went through this beforehand um, and I've already forgotten. Steph, tell us what you've been playing. I have been playing a game called Slay the Princess, uh, which it's Ruby, actually. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> you um, won. Yeah, I just, game over. All done. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I've been playing Slay the Princess, which is a visual horror novel kind of situation. It's very... Uh, it's it's kind of like Stanley Parable esque, mm. and the whole point is, as it says on the tin, you got to slay the princess. So you emerge into this kind of woodsy area. You have to walk up a path to the cabin where you know that the princess is going to be, and the narrator tells you, "Go and offer," and wow. that is the crux of the game. Uh, there are a lot of different. Uh, are you told why you can make. why you need to slay the princess? Oh no. No, no. It's that's just, just your job and you That's what you got to do. Mm. You got to kill her. Slay the princess. Yeah. She deserves it, allegedly. <laughs> um, mm. But there are a lot of different choices that you can make as to whether or not you will actually slay her, if you want to befriend her, if you want to. She looks so sweet. See. She does at the moment. Oh. For now, Ooh. she looks sweet. <laughs> um, doesn't remain always sweet, depending on what you do. Uh, and it's kind of a, a time loop situation. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's from Black Tabby Games, which mm-hmm. is a husband and wife uh, duo. Uh, I believe Abby Howard and Todd Howard Arias. Arias, um, and this is their second. It's I game. think it's like, it's close to Todd. It's Todd? Tony or Tony? something. Because oh, yeah, I was like Todd Howard. <laughs> yes, Tony yeah. Howard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is the second. Uh, of the games that they've done. They did Scarlet love, Hollow as well. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I yeah. love couple teams. They're so good. Love them. Um, oh. Yeah, when are you guys making a game? Yeah, no pressure, but. Let's make a game. Yeah. Okay. No, fuck that. It's too no? hard. <laughs> All right, well. It's too hard. Fair enough. Oh, I um, love the no eyebrows. It's really, <laughs> she like, looks. She looks like beautiful. a girl. She does have, yeah. honestly, she kind of has a bit of a Mia Goth energy. Yeah. Uh, but it gets very existential and the narrative is really quite exciting. One of the things that I really like about it uh, is that depending on what you're doing, depending on what loop you're in, you will also have other voices inside of your head. It's not just the narrator telling you what to do. So you'll, at the start, you'll have the voice of the hero who is like propelling you to do the right thing. But depending on your choices, you might also have, for instance, the voice of the the broken uh, or the voice of the opportunist. Mm. And you don't know until you do these loops. I think there's something like five or six different endings that you can get. Uh, but it's just, it's really beautiful. And all in all, I think it took me probably about four hours to go through. And I am already like, okay, well, I want to get all of the other endings because it's just really nice. And okay, cool. the thing that I really thought was cool about the art style specifically was that apparently, uh, according to the internet, uh, the the pencil kind of style of it was meant to be a placeholder mm. um, as a kind of, we'll get to it eventually, but it's so striking yeah. that it just works really, really well for it. Yeah, And I, I really just love the design of the princess, especially. I've already seen cosplays of the princess oh, all wow. over the With internet and it big. only came out on, I think, the 23rd. Whoa. So it's been out for like a week and she's really, really good. It's, the voice actors are... Um, oh, yeah. Jonathan Sims, who did, I think, the Magnus Archives, and Nicole Goodnight. And it's just what a name. really good. Really, really good. I, is it, so yeah. it's, the, it's voice acted and then the, the narrator Yeah, so well? the narrator okay. is Jonathan Sims. Right, yeah. Um, You're, yeah, you, yeah don't you don't have a voice. You don't have a voice. Yeah. You, you exclusively just choose yeah. through the allotted I like how simple options. her design is, but yeah. that kind of adds to the mystery. Because, yeah. like, one, why is yeah. she locked up down here? Two, why do you got to slay her? And three, she's not as like glamorous as you mm. presume mm. A, yes. a princess well, would be. Well, she's been chilling in there for a while. And like the thing, an American princess, an American princess, kill her. I know. Holy shit, slay kill her. Her. her, slay her, slay her. Yeah. But also, I will My say God. it is quite um, graphic. Oh, 
in some respects. It is. It is. So I play the demo. Yeah. Um, I really want to get the Just full in game. terms of the things it describes or no, in no, the no. art? No, no, no. Visually. Like the, visually as well. I mean, it's probably more existential in terms of the descriptions. Okay. But okay. the visuals, there are some graphic elements. Uh, so Graphic as in it has content warnings at the yes. start? Yeah, okay. Yes. So if you actually, if you go onto the website, they have a whole list of them sure. because depending yeah. on what scenario you're playing out and depending oh, on what you're doing, okay. it could have different confronting mm. visuals to go along with it. And okay. I'm talking things like, I mean, voluntary cannibalism, a little bit of like limb severing, you know. That kind of fun stuff. You can, yeah, eat cool. The you can. I mean, <laughs> well, that's the princess, one way to her. Princess can eat, can eat, eat her, you herself or herself. The princess can eat whatever. Well, she's been stuck there for a while, so I mean, you'd get hungry. Yeah, she's like, there's a reason why I'm sitting down. Yeah, oh, and she pulls her dress up. No, that's like, creepy. Yeah, mm. and I know, I made that it up. just it gets so many more layers of that kind of dread going back up to the cabin because you go up, back up to the cabin each time, and it's just let like. Level on level on level of, oh, God, what am I going to see this time? And I yeah. really, really loved it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> oh, man, i got to play that. <laughs> I really, really want to play it. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Interesting. Mm. Wow. Is there music? Yes. And is it good? Yes, it's good. It's atmospheric. It feels like... You know how sometimes you can have that music that gives you the dread, but it's still peripheral. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like... I would leave the decision making for a minute just so that I could be like, oh, I want to sit in this. It's really, yeah. It's such an important part of games like that, I find. Yeah. I saw people uh, like talking about it in the same uh, way that they talked about Doki Doki when it first came. Like, Mm. just in in terms of like like the impact. Yeah. Like, this is a game that is almost like, I, I think Doki Doki is still relevant, but like, there's definitely like this hype around slay the princess mm. right now that mm. I th- it feels like maybe you should jump in and play it before things get ruined for you yeah i yeah, mean okay. as i said there are a bunch of different final options that you can get but i would definitely go in early so that you're fresh to it because yeah. I, I mean it is kind of the same way that you were talking about before where you don't know which decision is going to be the right one yeah but because it is the time loop you can kind of experiment with those and choose something different the next time so each time loop you don't have previous decisions affecting the current You do. Loop? Okay. To a degree. Yeah. Um, okay. The thing that was interesting to me is in each time loop, the narrator doesn't recognize that it's a time loop, but the everybody else does. does. Yeah. Oh. oh. Everyone, That's including the well. other voices in your head as well. They'll, I, I, they just have this like bickering kind of situation That's going cool. on. So it's nice to have that interplay, but they all know that there's something repeating over and over again. And whether you slay the princess or whether you slay yourself or you choose to walk away entirely, which is also an option, it comes back inevitably to that same path in the woods up to the cabin, even if you try your damnedest not to. Mm. But all of the choices could be the right choice, but you don't know until you do it and you want to do it again. Interesting how you end a game like that. Mm. Well, I, the way that I did it, I'm not going to spoil it, but like the way that I did it, there is no universe that I predicted that that was going to be the way that this turned out. Wow. It got like real deep um, in a really unexpected way that made me feel very powerful. Cool. Very powerful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's, I like a game that's, to make like, me feel powerful. That's like the, princess eating powerful? I mean, that's... It's if, child's play. If this, <laughs> if this game uh, had a physical release, I would put that on the box for mm. sure. Mm-hmm. That would that would sell that would sell yeah. copies. It will that make you awesome. feel so powerful. No, I got a I got a box. nice. Okay, cool. The game electrocutes you. Slay the princess. <laughs> Slay the princess. <laughs> Ruby, what have you been playing? I'm playing World of Horror. Um, <laughs> That's what I've been playing. I love that. There was a place in Sydney once called Eating World. I don't know if it's still around. Oh, yeah, that's where Gumshara lives. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Uh, I love that. They have knocked Eating World down or are knocking it down. Devastating. But Gumshara's found a new home. I'm not entirely sure where. In the world of horror? I can't. Uh, In the world of horror. I can't do Gumshara because over the lockdown we – tried to get like the takeaway packets and we got five of them on the order and they delivered 15, which seems like a great situation to have. 
But then it was just days Too upon many. days upon days. Yeah. Upon Lots of collagen. Days. So much collagen. Collagen. Yeah. It's really good for your skin so anyway, to eat that ramen. World of Horror. So World of Horror uh, is made by, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Isbrid Games. It's like Y-S-B-Y-R-D or something oh. like that. Isbrid. Isbrid Games. It's already scary. Um, and it is this. It, it's a oh, cool. visual novel roguelite type situation where you uh isbrid that's it um it's play uh it's set in shiokawa japan mm -hmm. a small town where all sorts of really weird things are happening and basically it's kind of uh, there are a few different ways that you can play you can do like a, a custom playthrough where you choose the characters that you are the old god that's residing over the town um and uh the third thing or, no, I think it's just the character and the old god. And basically, uh, when um, w once you choose these things or once they're chosen for you, um, you're faced with five mysteries that are happening in that uh, playthrough. Cool. And you have to play through these five mysteries and solve them, and they can be solved in different ways. They all have a number of different endings. So, uh, some of the mysteries have five different endings. Some of them have two. Are you the same protagonist in each one, or are they like different? In each in each in each run, you can be a different protagonist. Oh. But once you're once you've started a, started a run, you are just that protagonist, and each protagonist has a different thing, a, a different, like, you know, different strengths and different weaknesses. Mm. Like, for example, there's one protagonist who she's pretty weak when it comes to her stats, but uh, she has really high charisma and is very good at um, collecting allies. And mm. so the way, the best way to play her is to gather a lot of allies uh, for when you are in situations. Mm. Um, there's another character who... Uh, is uh, uh, has a ciggy addiction, and so you have nice. to keep buying him ciggies. Mm -hmm. And uh, when okay. he's going through nicotine withdrawal, uh, his stats have dropped. But when he's got a nicotine rush, things are really good for him. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to keep buying him ciggies. And uh, can and you using can you give him nicotine patches so he can try and nope. quit, quit the smokes? This nope. doesn't. This no. looks like it's absolutely not. He's kind of like a he's kind sad. of like a bad boy. He's a bad boy okay. character. Mm. Um, and there's another character who like she's really smart, but she's not very strong. Um, but yeah, there are different characters you can choose from. And basically, uh, each, uh, with each run, um, you get five different mysteries and you can kind of roll through the mysteries, um, until you find like a set of five that you like, because once you choose that five and start your first mystery, you cannot roll again. You have mm. to play those five. And so, uh, in these mysteries, the one that we're looking at now is, is the uh, the high school one, and so the high school mystery. Uh, there's, it's like a, a Bloody Mary type situation. Oh sure, like an urban right. legend. Yeah, where there's this um, there's this demon that's at the school um, that you have to try and get her out. And I the, love this and interface. It's mm. in, it looks like one of the first games I played on a on a mac <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally. well uh but yeah it, no it, it it is very that like it reminds me a lot of um uh when i played the demo for duck web streamer yeah um it's very right. that um but it's also you know obviously visually it's very inspired by junji ito and oh. uh this yeah okay. the substitute teacher was terrifying oh, this was the Where first eyelids so this was the first oh. mystery i did and it's actually very different to the other mysteries because with most of the mysteries, you um, uh, can explore, sorry, investigate different areas in Shiokawa. But in this mystery, you are confined to the school. And so you- okay, cool. I can't deal with anything where you can see the whites of the eyes all the way around. Oh, yeah. That yeah. fucks with yeah. me. Like, it's really yeah, unsettling, it's but scary, it's really it? well done. It's- um. And like it's impressive for 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 something that's that's it, this is one bit graphics, two bits if you're nasty, but it's one bit graphics. Oh, it's my birthday. And it's no, it's not. Oh, I can't. Thirty first of May. No, but it May, and I thought it said 1994, but it was wrong. No, it's not my birthday at all. I like, no take it back. My um, bad. But uh, uh, you know, it's it's got these one bit graphics and still manages to look 
horrible like gross yeah, yeah. Really, i would say it really adds spooky. to it even because it kind of it gives it it has the same effect of like a, a vhs tape and you know when yeah. vhs is used in horror a lot to make things kind of distorted and uncomfortable and yeah this has that mm. same it's effect. very very like yeah. yucky scary and, and so the school uh mystery is always the same the school mystery is always the same but you might not but get there the are different mystery. endings that you can okay, get yeah, cool. right um and it's the same with all the other mysteries are yep. the other ones so, all demons also kind demons or creatures mm. or, or pe people who are possessed any holes in walls right think so yeah yeah i have a completely unearned oh. sense of confidence that i could defeat something if it has a physical form okay but anything else but there are some things that don't <laughs> so have funny. a physical have, form this is the conversation i have all the oh, time really? about horror yeah, yeah. i could because, totally do because it. peter yeah. and i fall in those different camps where i'm just like i will watch a horror film if it's about ghosts or demons because in my brain like i find it really scary while i'm watching it yeah. but i'm like it's not real oh. whereas i can't watch horror films like saw or like psychological or like body invaders. yeah or like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like fucked yeah. up like dudes who capture and torture people like because i'm like those people exist and also oh. someone thought of that room yeah see i'm the exact yeah. opposite in that yeah. if someone was entering my home i have mm. full confidence in myself that i'd figure out a way I yeah i shouldn't yeah i'm weak yeah, i'm not like going to be able to do that if ever it happens but demons to me I don't know what to do with a demon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what well, am I gonna do with a like, demon? I know how to kill a man. Like, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's. <laughs> I know how to kill a man. I'm pretty sure it's this mystery, but at the end, you know, you're faced with the main demon, uh, who you slay. But then you're also faced with the demon that has taken slay. control of the entire school, and so like you're fighting the entire school, and it's like, well, how does this happen? And uh, but then you ended end up beating uh. it. And th so there are some there <laughs> are some back. enemies. Uh, so you can you can get spells over time as well by going to the library. Um, and in uh, also fantastic uh, audio mm. um, audio production in this game. We, really, yeah. really good audio production in this game. Also, every time I went to a different Crunchy. tab and was looking at something else, mm. I'd come back to World of Horror and it'd give me a fucking jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> It'd come up with a scary game and go, Deep! and I'm like, oh, no, oh, really? no, don't do that. It's messed up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the combat area where, um, see like- His mouth is connected to the other mouth. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's it, uh, oh. the, the combat area shows you your, your, you know, your different options. You've got a set amount of like action points that you can use. So okay. you've got like 200 oh, yeah, so you're action doing, like, kick, points, kick, kick, right? Yeah. yeah. And oh, that's cool. I each, like the interface. Each action costs a certain amount of points. Um, there are some uh, creatures that you can kill physically like like using like your your weapons using your kick um using your kick using your weapons there's an action to find a weapon lying around and usually it's like a broken bottle or a stick and then you use that as your weapon um and uh then there's also spells that you can do and there are some enemies that are only uh able to be attacked with spells like demons yeah and so can't it's- Can't kick a demon, I'm can't telling kick you. A demon. You could kick a demon. Um, How would you kick a demon? Like and with just a straight up swing at the nuts. What nuts? I'm thinking like uh, Idris Elba as Luther. Yeah, what? Luther. Luther. <laughs> Luther. I don't know. Notoriously um, not a demon. No. And so <laughs> the, the interesting thing with this game as well is like, uh, you know, the, the mysteries, the, uh, each run with the five mysteries are pretty much contained. Like you don't, it's not like a full roguelike where like you get, uh, you know, uh, you get things out of each run, but you get things out of each mystery, which, you know, explains why it's called the roguelite. But like, so for example, if you get cursed in one mystery, that curse follows you Plays for the through. whole run. Yeah, okay, cool. Mm. Um, but if you get injured, like you can go to the hospital in the second mystery that you go to and then, you know, get a remedy for that uh, thing. And school is one of the few that you get locked into. Like yeah. you go to school, you you do you finish the school. Yeah. But but the the other four in that playthrough might be open world. So open you might world be and town. doing you might be yeah. doing four of them at the same time, thirty percent through each of them as you kind of like yeah. ticking like things off. The, and then there's also um, there's the festival mystery where you are locked into this smaller town, which is having a festival where there's spooky things happening there. Mm. And then there's also but like the main ones are kind of just in the in Shirkawa, 
where you're, you know, going to, you're, you're going to the seaside, you're going downtown. There's a dog that has a shop where you can buy things from it. Yeah, cool. And uh, also on top of all this, mm. over the course of the game, you are amassing doom. Boy, am I. Yeah. Literally, sure. like, 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 boy, boy, I'm, boy I'm, I'm I? filled with doom, and it's like tiny percentages. Every time you go into a building, every time you make an action, you amass a little bit of doom, yeah. and finishing mysteries can bring that doom down. But by the end of it, if you don't finish all five mysteries by the end of that run, and your doom, doom gets to a hundred, the old god just destroys the town. Okay, cool. So there, that's the tick. That's the clock. Essentially, the clock that's yeah. pushing you forward. Yeah. Okay, cool. So like, there is kind of a timer. It's the it's the impending doom. That's a whole video game, right? It's there. I like a um, doom a mess. I like a, yeah. I like a doom meter. Last yeah. week mm. on the show, I talked about um, Minds of Moria, and uh, I went back to that game. And something that I didn't uh, figure out my first playthrough is that there is um, a despair meter. Oh, where you, yeah. if you spend too much time in the mines, um, you become overcome with despair and you have to find a way out. Well, that's oh the thing. It, it, it makes sure that you you aren't staying in a run forever. Yeah. Like, yeah. And no dilly dallying. It's the, dilly dallying. Like, you're going to get doomed. Exactly. You're going to get doomed, doomed if you dilly dally. And mm. the, the great thing with World of Horror, it, it was in early access for about a year. You know, that they, they, they ironed out the kinks, they added new stuff, and now it's in its full 1.0 release. Uh, and they're still, you know, going to build on it. And over the course of that, uh, the game being in early access as well, um, a bunch of modders also included things. So you can now get mods for the game, which add even more events and situations that happen that you can play through. And it's such a neat and interesting game. It's it's such a cool, different way to do horror. Like, it's not just jump scares. It's It's also just visually yucky but incredible to look at because it's these one bit graphics that still manage to like creep you out mm. and and you get put in a situation and there's nothing worse than being put in a situation i hate so being in true. situations i hate you will never catch me in a situation never <laughs> except for in world of horror and it's such a good i really love it i think it's really really cool i think it's one of those horror games that's just doing something that nobody else is and i think we need that more in games Amazing. Cool. Yeah. That's my opinion. Awesome. World and it's horror. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, listen. Okay. <laughs> uh, listen. 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 I'm going to talk Time about Baldur's Gate. But first, uh, because, uh, because <laughs> I am committed to playing this game um, and I'm obsessed with it. So I've been playing a lot of it. Yes. Um, so it's pretty much all I play at the moment. I did dip into, um, uh, well, I, I still play Final Fantasy. Um, quite a lot as well 14. which it, final fantasy 14 yep yeah. um which is uh mmos are, are, are a, a time sink i've given up destiny for now for now oh, so just don't have time for it it's yeah. final fantasy and it's Baldur's gate pretty much at the moment final fantasy uh in their last um fan fest announced a crossover with fall guys all guys costumes final, uh, final, so fantasy, final fantasy, fantasy costumes guys? in fall guys but also Fall Guys in Final Fantasy. So oh. is it Fall Guys Final Fantasy Final or is it Final Fantasy Fall Guys? Um, Final Fall Guys it's Fantasy. It's Final, Final, Final Fall Guys Fantasy, oh, yeah. Okay. It's oh, actually Blunderville. Oh. <laughs> right. And <laughs> oh, my I, sorry. I, I thought... <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought that <laughs> like... Imagine if you were just a little bean man and then you look next <laughs> to you and it's like this hulking, handsome brute. <laughs> it's, it's like there's, there's, quite, there's been a life. number of crossovers <laughs> in Final Fantasy XIV. This is definitely one of the um, the oh, weirdest. Wow, look at him go. I, I, oh was, I wasn't sure how I would feel about it. It's actually awesome. Oh. It has it has brought in all of the um, infuriating aspects of Fall Guys, but um, but it has kind of tailored it to the mechanics of Final Fantasy XIV. And is this sorry? Is this in Final Fantasy XIV? It is. Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so it's a lim it's a limited time event. So I think in in order to have people not just kind of burn themselves out on it, they they bring it in for durations and then they'll take it away and then they'll bring it back in for a for a period of time. Mm. And the way these kind of mini games work in Final Fantasy is there is, in Final Fantasy 14, there is a giant casino called the Golden Saucer. Okay. And you can go there and basically just like gamble and win money that you can use on cosmetics and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like oh a currency that exists outside of the casino. It's purely an in in casino currency. Final Four yeah. Fantasy. I love so that you can't just, so much. Yes, yeah, so you can't just go in there and gamble and then go out and like and, and profit from it as an adventurer. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you can spend it you, within the casino on, on like um just 
It's Disney bucks. It's Disney bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Disney um, fun bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and you can't really lose on anything either. Like you, when you you have to pay, you know, ten um, whatever. MGP, it's called uh, Mandeville points, I think, or whatever. Um, you get a minimum of like a thirty-six back or something like that. So you're always going to make money from yeah, it. Yeah, sure, like, okay. Right. It's never. And gonna, that, never this gonna... is built into that in what way? Uh, in that the, it's just it's kind just of there. a there, there are events, there are instance events that you can just yeah, go cool. into with a party or with randoms or whatever. Um, and at the moment, there's two Fall Guys maps. The way it kind of differs from Fall Guys, um, a, a lot of the the sort of scenarios are are the same, but because you know in Fall Guys you're constantly um, the physics are are built so that you're kind of crashing into things and jumping over things yeah, and, yeah, and, and using momentum a and bit stuff floaty like that. and stuff. Whereas that looks like you were MMO platforming, yeah, with the, area of effects. Totally, yeah. yeah. Because it's an MMO and um, it still has to use the MMO engine and mechanics mm-hmm. and stuff like that of the way your character moves. They've put these kind of debuffs on you, and you even see them stack in the way that you would in a, in any raid or in you know encounter that you would see you know debuffs and things you know affect your character. Um, things like um, some uh, like an arrow will appear above your head and start spinning in different directions, and you have to aim, you have to aim the arrow in the direction that you want it to run because when it stops, it's just going to push you in that direction. So right. um, that's all happening when you're on little narrow beams and stuff like that. It was. Actually, really fun. I was I'm as terrible at it as I am <laughs> regular Fall Guys, but um, as a far as weird crossovers go, it's quite successful, I think, and it's a lot of fun. And it was weird seeing such saturated colors in uh, the Final <laughs> Fantasy universe, yeah. but it works. It's was, cute though. Yeah, I, I was like impressed. It. And it's a fun kind of community thing, and I yeah. think it's kind yeah, of also nice. just one of those ways that Final Fantasy fourteen kind of sets itself apart from other MMOs, and that it tries to foster more silly community things like that that make it a fun space to hang Final out. Final Fantasy is silly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. But yeah. Like also people die. But like it's silly as well. Yeah. It's yeah. A, it's an incredible story like it, it, in for an MMO. Yeah. Well, I th- I think that's actually it. It's it's actually that people love Final Fantasy. The the devs are good storytellers. Like Guild Wars was always and Guild Wars 2, they always did silly things like that. Mm. But they didn't they weren't as effective for whatever reason. Like mm-hmm. the people that play Guild Wars maybe don't expect that out of Guild Wars so it doesn't play as well or it's just like, I don't know, there's something about Final Fantasy where it can be anything and, yeah. and it works. It's I think that was kind of what I... A superpower of that title. Yeah, that was what I had to kind of um, accept to to really love it because I think for a long time the barrier for me was that I take fantasy so seriously. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. And, I, and it, because it kind of mixes a lot of genres and different things you know, this is a classic example. I was kind of like, I don't know how to process this. But once I kind of gave myself over to the fact that it's like anything can exist in this world and by that anyone can be anything and do anything and express themselves in whatever way, it was quite nice. Yeah. Uh, so that was cool. Um, but, yeah, I kind of just want to revisit Baldur's Gate because I've played more of it. Ruby, should we? As is. Yeah, <laughs> wanna, yeah, yeah, back. And also because yeah. I knew that Steph was going to be yes. on the show and I thought I'm that ready. it was like a cool opportunity oh, for us to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I've been saying to, I've been saying to everyone that um, that this game has been giving me a, spe- a specific feeling that is um, uh, a deep, um, deep seated anxiety around the fact that every moment I play of this game is a moment that I'm closer to the end. Oh my god! Yeah, I I have not finished a playthrough, and I have. I think at last count, if you include multiplayer with my friends, I think I have about nine campaigns just because I ke- I get to a very specific point in mm. Act 3 and I'm like, oh, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. So and it's a very rare opportunity. Well, it's a very rare instance that a game will make me feel that way, that it's hard for – it's almost hard for me to enjoy it because I have, I have like, so much um, – fear around it mm. being over yeah. that I can't like enjoy it in while it's happening. I haven't <laughs> felt that strongly in that way about something since The Witcher 3. Yes. And yeah, this yeah. has like, I, I can't tell you how much the brain worms have just sunk in mm. because it is all of my conversations with a lot of people are just dominated by this game and I'm not going to stop. There's and I don't want voice, to stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm so okay. far. No, I'm in right. too deep. You're I'm right. having a kind of I'm a push your pants for a long time. Oh. About it. it is just, oh. it is so delightfully nerdy. It is one of the mm. nerdiest things I think I've ever 
um, just given myself over to. It is like, it is nerdy in the sense that it's like, like the foundations of of fantasy and role playing yes. it's it's nerdy in the the, sto- the the joy that we find in the the mechanics of dice rolls and and dumb decisions and trying to like nerd our way out of things it's nerdy in the way it's become such known for how kinky it is mm. do you know yeah. what i mean it's- oh yeah it's nerdy in equal parts to how horny yeah 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 and that's what i want in a game <laughs> Yes, and I know a lot of people would be like, mm, this game experience now for you is just like all of you trying to sleep with people. And like, that is very true. Mm. And yeah. since I last spoke about this game, I have experienced, not my character specifically, two sex scenes and they were amazing. Yeah. I Part of the reason that I have so many campaigns is because I want to experience everything that I'm the game sure. has to give. <laughs> and I mean everything that the game has to give. Yeah. Um, and some of them, I was, I, I mean, I'm not a prude, but I was like, damn, yeah. this is, whew. That bear is hung. You know? <laughs> I mean, not even the bear, the bear's, the bear's the bear. We know the bear. We're all very familiar with the bear. The crazy thing about this but. game is like, I, um, you know, you don't hear people talk about, you know, playing porn games. Mm. Not you enough, really don't. I guess. Yeah, not enough. You don't hear people. You don't hear about people going on quote unquote adult websites and playing porn games. But like, you, you, every so many people I've talked to about Pulled Escape Three are so unabashedly and unashamedly horny. Yes. <laughs> They're yes. Like, oh correct. yeah. So like, you're sucking and fucking in it. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I am a girl of God. <laughs> well, I think. What are you saying? To I me? think it's because like, I, I mean, I. I've, anytime that I've seen a, a porn game on Steam, I've always gone into the reviews for it because I love reading people's yeah. reviews of porn. They're, like, like, they're like, yeah, it's yeah. pretty good, but like, honestly, the physics for this were like not great. And I've played better porn games, honestly. Mm. And it's just, they just seem so like simple and basic. And I can imagine that, like, I don't know, yeah. like, the reason why these are great is because they're all, they're very creative, mm-hmm. they are very specifically um, tailored to each character in a way that makes them feel authentic yeah they're romantic as <laughs> they well as, as being you know sexual sensual and not so all push. of them are like really in your face sexual some of them are just genuinely sweet yeah and you're given options as well throughout mm. to kind of guide how you want it to go so if yeah. you want it to, to be more like romantic and less intense mm. than you can you can you can just have a sweet romantic time have a little jig instead of you know Something else. Yeah, they're very kind of consensual cutscenes. Yeah, exactly. This is Steph's footage, Pete. So oh, I don't yeah, know why yeah. that yeah. no, classic. Can I ask, um, uh, and not to take away from uh, the discussion that you've been having, sure. is like I've heard all of this about Baldur's Gate. Sure. Yeah. But you guys have been playing for like the game's been out for a few months now. I don't expect you to say you've finished it because I don't think anyone. Ha- I I, to- I understand people making multiple characters and trying to experience the first couple of acts again and see mm. what's different. It feels like the kind of game that you do that in before you finish it once you have started six characters yeah is the game are you guys deep enough into the story that because to me i'm like all of the systems look amazing Mm. the settings are amazing i see all the character interaction interactions being amazing but is the story any good yes the story is incredible yeah Yeah. cool yeah but But also like sorry you go Oh, I was just going to say, it's just, it's, it is taking us a long, I'm, I'm doing a playthrough with, with four tabs, which is, uh, there's, there's benefits to, to playing with NPCs and with tabs with, with four tabs, obviously it's like Dungeons and Dragons. Mm. You have four people who are looking for things and discovering things in the environment, making decisions and like weighing in on all of the kind of combat and story things that you do. So all of that is just an absolute joy and I love it. And we're just kind of messing around in the environment and finding fun ways to, to, you know immerse our characters in the world which is so funny i've got right. mm. so many screenshots of shark in wild shape and, and various different <laughs> forms and us just kind of hanging out together and just having a good time yeah um but if you play through with npc characters then you experience more of their individual stories mm. the overarching story uh because we've taken our time with it is just now we've just reached Baldur's gate oh okay <laughs> yeah Oh, the gate. Yeah. Wow. The yeah. Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Baldur's Gate. We've just yeah. reached the Baldur's Gate. Yeah, like gate. 50 hours in or something. Yeah, yeah. We've done so much. We've, I, I, There's so many yeah. rats to talk to. There's yeah. so many rats to talk to. There it's, is it's, a I lot take of great rats. pleasure yeah. in any time I've streamed it. People are just like, I totally missed this. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, we've been 
really the thing is like i have had a lot of people say oh i totally missed it and every time that someone's like oh you might have missed this i was like no no i I haven't (laughs) missed that trust me but i think to your point as well even if you play as the origin characters as well it gives you an entirely different way through the game because you're getting more insight into them but the thing that kind of struck me the most is the difference between like your kind of authentic good like paragon of virtue playthrough mm. yeah. and then how incredibly different it is if you go full evil because i did not initially want to go full evil it's not in my nature mm. to be full evil yeah mostly um but committing to that was so confronting but the actual like narrative results from it i was stunned by how different the branch was in terms of how it takes the story because there's just so much that if you make one decision that's a little bit evil and naughty Mm. you you are locked out of so much of the other stuff Mm. that you've done but you have so many other channels and i i think um because i'm doing the evil playthrough with a friend we're just at the end of act one okay and even just doing that, you're a different it's point, a completely, completely different. different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's it's so it's interesting, and obviously, I'm not going to talk about the story because it's a, uh, you know, it's a spoiler to even kind of venture into it. Mm. But I guess the only thing I would say is that we're at a point now where it's starting to become clear that. Um, Who's that? He's so hot. That's Gail. That's Gail. Okay. Yeah. He's- yeah. Well, Both of you just melted. <laughs> he, he seems really nice. Yeah. He he will eat your shoes, but otherwise he's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, is he he's he's the bear. Mm-mm. No. He's the dog. No. He's the cat. No. He's, he's the, just a simp. No. Creature. Well, he he's a bit of a simp. He but yeah, it, depending he on he has me. a he has he has an affliction. Mm. Um a shoe affliction? Kind of. Yeah. He oh, has, well, oh, he's a he, footman. He's, he's, he has a, he he's has, not like specifically he wants a the dogs foot. Is his name Gail Tarantino? Oh, he's not a dog. He wants the dogs on display. <laughs> he right. loves the dogs. He needs the those dogs. wigglers out. The, dog. the dogs. Yeah, the dogs. But, <laughs> right. The dogs can also be feet. Dogs can be feet. It's, um, dogs yeah. can be feet. Dogs can be feet yiddies can be, and dogs, dogs can also feet be feet. feet. Yeah. And toes. Slappers. Toes. Slappers, yeah. Also. The, so many different terminologies. You can say anything and it can mean anything. With the right context, we'll know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, um, the, <laughs> yeah, like, we're Santa, at, we're at a point now out. in the story where it's like it's becoming <laughs> it's becoming clear that we have to we're we're starting to be we're starting to make decisions that um uh, um is going to mean siding with people that is going to mm. greatly affect the outcome with the game and we have a few different yeah. kind of people that we can side with or organizations or groups or entities or whatever yeah um and the, and it's not clear what the right choice is, but it's that thing of like, you're trying to use all the information that you've got from the NPCs in your, in your kind of camp yeah. and the, the interactions that you've had in the world to guide these choices. And it's really difficult because every time you think you have arrived at a point where you're like, okay, I've figured this it. out. Unless. You'll have another encounter that, that makes you think again. And you're like, oh God, have we committed ourselves to something that is going to totally. It just annoys the hell out of me. Why? Yeah. Because it sounds like it's the perfect video game and has captured Dungeons and Dragons perfectly. <gasps> yeah, which means so that I, good. Which means that I have to play it and do, I don't do you want, want to. Together? I, I don't like... want to play it at all. Why not? Because because oh. of how much time I'm going to put into it's it. So oh, yeah. And then so look at these good. psychopaths. And then there were just, yeah. there, but then there were also like on top of that, there were dumb. Nobody should be are, this into there something. Are just, <laughs> no one should be this happy. Dumb, funny little <laughs> moments. Like I think I spoke about this on the on the podcast, but like we came, uh, we we oh, yeah. picked up a chest and like, you know, there are lots of chests in the game that are that are locked and you can lock pick them. Some of them are, are trapped. Yeah. So if it if if it's Mimics. a a mimic, yeah. yeah. If it, if a chest is trapped and if it has a high you know, role that you have to get to be able to disarm it. You're like, oh shit, there's something good in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we uh, multiple and uh, multiple attempts tried to unlock this to, to disarm this chest yeah. and then unlock it. And we finally got it open, and there was just a bunch of spoons in there. And we were like, Fine. fucking Larian, like what a <laughs> troll. And so we almost got rid of it, and then Shark for some reason took the spoons out and was just like, here, have some spoons. And oh, when they put them on the ground, yes. they turned into Fucking Swords? incredible loot. So <gasps> it was a a chest of like normal things, right? Or so, I think it was just like cutlery. a fancy name. Just, yeah. Yeah. And so when you put anything you put in the chest appears as cutlery, as like an enchantment to disguise that, the items. But that would be such a funny name cool. for a, 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 a 
clearly charmed chest, chest of Monday. One yeah. thing, chest of yeah, mundane. chest of Monday, the, the yeah. chest of which we thought things. was like a, which I, we thought was a misdirect. I was like, oh yeah, mundane mm, with this kind of trap on it. I don't think so. The <laughs> thing that I really liked oh. about it, I don't know if they changed it, but at one point early on when it was first released, you could put like heavy items that you're carrying into that chest. They'll be spoons and assorted cutlery. And then if you just give the chest to one of your stronger companions, you can cart it all around anyway. So you're like hacking the system a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because there was stuff like that in Divinity Original Sin Mm. 2 that you could kind of use. um, Yeah, you could put a bunch of stuff in barrels that was really heavy and then use telekinesis to put it over someone's head and drop it on them. Yeah, yeah, just really cool stuff like that. So you're still enjoying it? (laughs) Oh my, it's all it's all I think about and we're, we're like crack yeah. addicts like everyone's just in in, yeah. in discord all the time being like guys bottle skate I've been thinking about it all day I was just thinking about it, like if we yeah. go back to that forest we could maybe try this and it'd be like yeah. I was I was trying to sleep last night and I was thinking about that encounter and I was thinking if we went back there like it's, I will so, say, it's so funny my partner is the same though that he doesn't get it and he doesn't want to get it um he well he does he's been playing it a lot but there will oh, be so he's been a lot. He's only put in a casual 100 he's been, hours. Well, not quite so he much, but it. he's been playing it a lot and he will c- so frequently just turn to me and be like, this is stupid. This is a stupid <laughs> game. I, yeah. don't like, I don't understand. This is ridiculous game because <laughs> it just, it is so definitive with, oh, well, this is what's happening now. Mm. Have fun. Yeah. 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 It's, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm staggered at just how, um, how how well it sets up for itself up for repeat playthroughs because the information that you get from the conversations that you have with NPCs have such a big impact on how you interpret the story and how you um and what and how you're set up for certain encounters because just having someone in your party gives you so much information yeah. because of their just their background and their experiences. Or, I imagine the whole time you're thinking like if I didn't have this person in here, I would know way less. Yeah. What does that mean about all the other people that can't, aren't currently with mm. me? Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And 100%. It, aff- it affects which like quests you can so complete much. successfully in a certain way yeah. and things like that. I thought I was going to do multiple playthroughs at the same time. I'm now at a point now where I think I'm just super committed to this run mm. and I just want to finish it before Look, I start another playthrough. Every They're one manic. of them. Yeah. No, every, every single yeah. one of the multiple playthroughs has gotten to that specific point. Like I haven't. No, one time I started while I was playing a different one because I wanted to see differences. But for the most part, I've gotten to the same point every single time and I will continue to do so. So, yeah, and so I've still been playing Hello Kitty Island Adventure (laughs) (laughs) and it's really, really good and I'm almost best friends with everybody. So... P, you played Alan Wake. (laughs) Yeah, thank you. Let's wrap it up. Steph, you played Baldur's Gate 3. Yes. Yeah. Steph, you play, and I was going to make a joke saying spay the princess. And then I thought about it. I'm like, maybe not. (laughs) Slay the princess. Slay the princess. And also Baldur's Gate 3. And also (laughs) Baldur's Gate 3. And I have been playing World of Horror. I think it's about time we go to a freaking Blakey Blake. A Blake. Break it. A Blake. Conditioner can't improve the health of your hair? Think again. Meet the Lafrené Hair Rejuvenation Cream by Super Studios. This powerful new formula will make your locks thick and strong like the hind flanks of a majestic bison. And bison have good hair. Mega Watch Shine, impossibly strong. Just one wash will instantly double the girth of each strand of your hair. Yeah, I said girth, because you want people to think of your hair as girthy. That's the Lafrené effect. Still need more volume? Apply our comb through activating powder. It's packed full of hydrocuticle, peptide crystal, marine mineral, mushroom milk extract, and of course bison for the girth. Because you deserve the thickest of the thick. 
Live your most luscious life with La Frenée. Like Michael J. Fox and Teen Wolf, you're ready for a night on the town with the girls with the application of the La Frenée Mega Nourish Finishing Oil. Now you can finally attain your ultimate fursona, all hair. Say goodbye to thin, timid tresses and usher in a new Yeti you. Snowcon? The La Frenée Hair Range by Super Studios. It will happen overnight, so prepare yourself. Here's the plan. Each of our favorite attractions. Oh, sh**. This is the best night of my life. Is he being He'll held be up? Blind, buddy. This charm. He's Peter. But he does that he when the plane lands. Will, but... Swish, swish, bish. Skadoosh. Show him how it's done, Pete. Ah, oh, I am with my dual sense controller. Yeah, let's go. Woo. Hey, there's a prize with our name on it. Prize booth over here. Am I the prize? What the? What is happening? <laughs> oh, I'm choosing hats. I'm cho <laughs> oh, it's all awful. Any of these, I'll be wearing them for the rest of this mission. Sick. Oh, he looks sick. <laughs> is the hat supposed to still be on? What a shot. <laughs> And thank you so much for joining us again. We heard words from Spazarus and Justitus92. Is that right? Justitus. Justitus92. It has pockets. And it has pockets, um, which you cannot say about most women's pants. Is that yeah. anything? Pocket check. You know what I think uh, is no, annoying is that I always want the, the, the pocket them. that's inside yeah. a blazer. But Women's blazers don't have those. I pockets. love they're when pockets on the shut. inside. What oh, the fuck is that? It's a fake pocket. Like there's a pocket in. I haven't unstitched them. In fairness, that's a me problem, not a pants well, problem. But why do it in the first place? Um, Great question. Because, because people like the appearance of pockets, but on women's clothing, no one wants to spoil the lines. Yeah, fashion fashion you, don't want, fashion. you don't want to ruin the, the you shape of the bowdy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't want yeah, to see. Yeah, because heaven forbid it looks like a woman has something in her pocket. Mm, that is why you, know? you see so many photos of celebrity, like women holding so many things in just one hand. <laughs> yeah. We've gotten very, very good <laughs> yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can hold thing so many things. Hold on. Like <laughs> the power of just one hand. Yeah. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. That's good. That's good multi oh, that's, that's what yeah. women yeah. be doing. Look, I'm sorry. Easy this mode. is what women that's be not, doing. That's, <laughs> she's got one thing for each finger. That's not even yeah. that. Like, that's entry level. Um, Sometimes yeah. also I cr I'll do it's that and then I'll create find. a shelf out of one of the yes. items and stack things yeah. on top of it. And also you can kind of like hold them to your body as well and then oh, yeah. just pile it up to the chin if yeah. you need. There are so many opportunities. You're so right. And we also saw an ad for Super Studios as well as our socials. Mm. And Ben is doing fantastic work on our socials. We love Ben. Mm. Mm. We love them very much. Mm. 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 And we also got a little something yeah. for... Yeah, our pocket business partner. Pocket business hey, partner. Hey, Timothy. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Timothy Chu, our pocket business partner, uh, will offer you general generalist technology services in software development, analytics services, bespoke AR and VR experiences, and Twitch integration. You can contact Timothy at a Timothy at a Timothy. Dot X, Y, Z. Uh, yeah, Timothy Chu, the master of creating worlds, uh, could create a world for you. Isn't he? Isn't that wow. just a delight? It's I like lovely. the term generalist technology services. Me too. It's mm. just like, uh, 
It's such a, uh, a why, broad scope. Why limit yourself? You should yeah. definitely, if you're interested at all, go to Timothy's website, which is uh, atimothy.xyz, yeah. uh, and you can see some uh, demos of uh, Tim's former work. And you can yeah. get a it's world of your own. But now mm. it's time for On Other Screens. Wait, isn't this Pocket Watch? Shush. We haven't done this in a while. Why, why, wait, you guys said what? it's on other screens. It why is, is it look, called Pocket it is. Watch? Perfect. Deception. Uh, what does that mean? A perfect... Do you actually know? No. Because oh every time that plays, Steph's like, why has it got both? Okay, why because, why because, it say both? <laughs> because originally there was um, a thing called Pocket Watch. A podcast Pocket Watch. Yeah. A poco- yeah. And so they decided to make this segment called On Other Screens. But then they were like, I guess it's kind of, it could fall under the banner of Pocket Watch. But nothing else we have does that. So now it's just like it's got two titles. Why? Just call about, it one thing. I think we should rebrand Back Pocket to Pocket Watch. I think we presents should. Presents Back Pocket. Oh. I think we should the go. The artist uh, formerly known uh, as Back Pocket. Yeah. Uh, we should call it We're just back Going now. to the yeah. Movies. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's movies with a Z. Yeah, yeah. but the reason yeah. we wanted to keep it broad like screens, and we've had this conversation as well, is because we were like, oh, it could be film, it could be television. It could also be. You can see television at the movies. It could also be it could also be a Silent be a Hill browser based screen. viewing experience. It could, it could yeah. also be your Kindle. Yeah, it's true. You can, and yeah. so it's a screen. Uh, but we're mostly one talking about film and TV. It's sponsored by Middle C, baby. Oh yeah, <laughs> there we go. And with Middle C, we always do a, a funny little thing where uh, <laughs> we uh, I I say lyrics. Well, whoever's presenting the segment says lyrics, lyrics to a song that yes. is in the key of C. You know this game. I'm, I'm familiar. Yeah, You're yeah. familiar? Have you I've, been listening to... I've been training. Have you been on Spotify and filtering by songs in the key of C to I practice? I have mostly been, like, up until the point of Halloween, I've been curating so hard so that my Spotify wrapped is good. Nice. But now I'm free to explore all songs in the key <laughs> of C. That's such a weird... That's awesome, dude. Modern society thing Thank you is so to much. is to over listen to songs just to stack. I can that like, PNG that gets sent to your inbox. I am free of the chains that is Spotify wrapped. I am ready <laughs> to get it back. I, right. I, I just I'm just... embarrassed by my Spotify wrapped every year because every year I go through a like a period of like a couple months where I just keep listening to songs from Drake's Take Care <laughs> album. So every year every without year fail, oh. my top my top artist is Drake. And I don't even like him that I much. Just, it's <laughs> just that one album. I do I have things where I listen to the same song on repeat a lot, which yeah. I find mm. which I'm t- told is uh, is a it's, common ADHD. Yeah, yeah, I have the same. I, I, but I've but like obsessively, yeah. like I'll listen to one, one song time. 47 times in a yeah. row. Yeah. Yeah. And then I and I freak out about that cuz I'm like am I Price crazy? No, well, you know, <laughs> apparently there's like I don't know, I've never done it, but it can be done. <laughs> it's been said. You can select that certain songs or certain artists aren't included. Well, I just want to do that for my, I've got like a stream playlist of like right. generic yeah. royalty free chill hop or whatever. I would love to remove that from it. Mm. I don't, I'm, I'll stand by my 47 mm. play plays yeah, in a row of, I mean, of whatever, but. And um, I respect yeah. that and you should. Yeah. yeah. Um, of case one, four, three. Shut up. <laughs> shut so. Up. <laughs> so. <laughs> so <laughs> this song, this song in the Love KFC, you. and I, I, I'm standing by this. I am almost certain that every single time I've hosted this segment, yep. uh, I have never said a song that hasn't been in the KFC. Ooh. Okay. Because we, we have, we Cowardice. have checkers in the chat. Yeah. We have, well, Muso for Hire in the chat will tell us whether or not it's actually in the KFC. And I don't think I've ever brought on a song that hasn't been in the KFC. Right. So that's a bold here. claim. Um, it's a claim. That you got to free yourself from the shackles. Maybe broken tonight. Mm. You got to break so, it. You got to break are it. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, I'm so ready. Under your spell again, I can't say no to you. Crave my heart and it's bleeding in your hand. I can't say no to you. I know this. It's evanescence. It's under your spell. Lithium. No. Nah. Fuck. Um. <laughs> <laughs> is it evanescence though? It no, is. It, it's um. You. Shouldn't let you, you talk to so, so sweetly. Me. Now I can't let go of this dream. Good enough. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's obscure. That's a deep Thank cut. 
Yeah. Even that seen. was a great choice. You Thank know what? You. I rem- I read an interview with um, uh, Amy Lee who was who her. said she was so nervous about putting that song on the album because it's the only song that has a remotely uplifting message. Aww. Because she was like, I you know, I, a lot of my songwriting comes from a very tortured place, and that's what we became known mm. for and stuff like that. But it meant we were in a it's position a where we couldn't to be happy. Yeah, it was a <laughs> risk to be happy, like a commercial yeah. risk. Fuck. So she put that song on. That's kind of like it talks about that feeling of of not. Mm. That's measuring up but seen. then saying yeah. that yeah that's okay You're quite yeah. a happy it's quite, that's quite a happy key nice. yeah yeah as keys go i uh <laughs> did, did she do stuff with cartoon network back in the day she did a cartoon network song did she yeah yeah, yeah. and it was all it was all about watching cartoon network i think she was nickelodeon <laughs> I, and she did the angry beavers uh theme <gasps> That's her thing. Yeah, that's her thing. She did a Cartoon Network Angry thing. Beavers. That that she, the song Angry Beavers. And then she and it's all a cappella. She goes, TJ's got my back. TJ Grala has my back. She did a song. No, it's wrong. And don't believe it. It was all about watching different shows on Cartoon Network. I remember it so. She's right. So. We'll watch it in the post show. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll listen to them in the post. Okay, yeah. that's amazing. Uh, it's so vivid. Solis Pretzel says Google says it's in C major. Google has said that every song that we featured in this segment is in C major. So <laughs> you can't trust Google. Yeah. You can only trust Muso for Hire. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, once we hear from – oh, it moves around a lot, but it sounds like at least bits of it are in C major. That's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. So this is on other screens. Yep. Uh where we talk about the movies that we've been watching yeah. lately. Some films. And I pushed for this one because I desperately wanted to talk about a movie that I watched. Or TV shows. Or TV or shows. Or okay. oh, 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 books book. on a digital or screen. Books on a digital screen. Yeah. Or you like the book. three second video um, from like a, a very specific deep cut of like a cartoon where it's kind of like, for example, it'd be like Mickey Mouse and it's only three seconds long on YouTube and it's like Mickey Mouse walking and then he goes, oh, 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 and then that's the video. We could it also could also that. be that. Why would you spoil what I'm about to talk about? Oh, my God. Was that what that thing on the list was? I'm so sorry. I wrote Mickey goes. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we all <laughs> go home. I wrote. I phonetically spelled out. <laughs> which is spelt how? Uh, <laughs> uh, it is Q-C. Q-C-O-O-U-A. U H H exclamation mark. How, yeah. how would you spell huge? I saw that tweet that mm. popped off. Oh, I can't yeah. spell it. Even after I, I read everyone's and I was like, they're all wrong. Mm. They're all close, but they're all wrong. Mm. There's no way you to know, spell it. The other one that kind of fucks with me is zhuzh. To zhuzh. Zhuzh, I think, has There's an, an official actual spelling. spelling. But it an looks official spelling. Wrong. Yeah. It looks and really cash wrong. is the other one too. We yeah. say cash a lot. And, and pe- I think people go and write cash and go, oh, wait. That's not I right. just, That's I a just word. think some some words aren't meant to be spelt. Yeah, but how sad because <laughs> so we live true. in an increasingly text based generation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but and, and, and that's why I think I think the art of talking to one another is so important because there are some words that you just shouldn't type out. Yeah, uh, or say like, live on air. <laughs> yeah, which uh, they found out in uh, which are mm, <laughs> let me let me Silent Hill, yeah, Hill Ascension chat. Silent Hill Ascension chat. So we're gonna talk about uh, what we've been watching yeah. lately. Um, and we actually didn't choose an order for this. Yeah, well, I think you're gonna kick us off because you're yeah, talking about the most go. recent thing. Have fun. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm. Mm, five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> That's where I want to be. I watched Five Nights at Freddy's. Was that Amy Lee? That was, that was Amy Lee. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, She channeled uh, me. She, her spirit, she's still alive. Her spirit <laughs> went into my body and sung that. I saw the Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria, Five Nights at Freddy's, five beautiful evenings at Friedrich's Philema. Okay. And... You may be shocked by this. I'm ready. Because a lot of people were like, damn, this shit sucks. Why are there testicles heading towards that man's face? Um, it is a animatronic oh, that's face. That's the cheek it is a mask. of the bear. It is a mask, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. It really um, does look like testicles. And to though. answer Z Grind's question, uh, Peacock is a streaming service in the States. Yeah, that was um, Gus was like, it's on Peacock. Yeah, And okay. then poor Josh had to write it down because Gus said it. Yeah, and Gus. No one has Peacock, mate. Yeah, Peacock is in America. It's owned by NBC. It's not in Australia. So, dum dum. Anyway, five minutes of Freddy's. Yeah. Tell uh, us this, about this, it. This is, this is, um, <laughs> go on. Literally but, tell us. What do you is, guys think? This is Blumhouse, yeah, okay. right? So this is yeah. Blumhouse. And but it's PG? 
I think it's MA. I was going to say, it feels like it's... I'm pretty sure it's MA. Oh, my God, the change. Yeah, Yeah. sorry. In cinemas, fuck you, Gus. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, I think I am the perfect audience for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Because I am PG-13 in Oz. uh, I'm not super deep into oh. Five Nights at Freddy's lore. I haven't played the games. I've just well, I've watched a lot of videos about Five Nights at Freddy's and read a lot about Five Nights at Freddy's, but I haven't Why played have the games. Why have you watched a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's videos, Ruby? Um, mm. they're, they're, I've just like watched them to go to sleep. Because you think Mark, Mark applies hard, don't you? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to Mark Applier. Don't. I. I Anyway, he's a cutie. <laughs> you're you're very seriously boy. blushing. That's adorable. <laughs> that's a piece of Everyone that's a piece of real stop. ruby Everyone. law right there. Everyone. That's some that's some real ruby law. <laughs> Mark White is hot. You yeah. shouldn't be embarrassed. It's so true. <laughs> but that's not why I've watched Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, no, I also uh, I, I went into like a, a weird moment of like just watching heaps of. Five Nights at Freddy's lore videos, but like actively going like, I'm never going to play these games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm never yeah. going to play these games, yeah. but I want to know everything I can about Five Nights at <laughs> Freddy's for no reason. It's because it, it falls into, it, it almost falls into that creepy pasta realm of like weird internet lore yeah. scariness mm. of just that, that has been super popular with kids. Yeah. And there's so many games. It's it's a for me it's a really fascinating thing as well, similar to like Coraline of like children's mm-hmm. horror. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. is such such a, a hard genre to do right because you don't want to be too scary and too graphic for kids, mm-hmm. but you also don't you also still want to give them a good scare. Mm-hmm. And 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 I think I think uh children's horror is is one of the most interesting genres when it comes to video games and also uh uh movies and stuff so five nights at freddy's right the the movie i feel like it's perfect for me because i yeah i'm not super duper ultra mega into five nights at freddy's um and i also didn't have any expectations for this movie when it came to law mm. yeah right mm. um but i also enjoy the idea of five nights at freddy's enough and think it's kind of funny um that that i could enjoy it and it's it, there's a lot of stuff from the game games that like isn't in it because it's just one movie um and there's also a lot of like lore stuff that apparently is kind of wrong like there's one character in the movie that like doesn't even show up in the first game blah 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 whatever right but basically the gist of it is josh josh hutchison who was Many, many girls uh, crush when they watch Bridge to Terabithia as a kid. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, and Zathura. And, and, and Zathura. And, and, yeah. and then eventually well. it's also well. Buffalo well. Games. Was, yeah. was, was Peter. Games. Yeah. It was Peter. Peter. Um, and Peter. so basically <laughs> he's um, he's this guy who keeps having these um, – He's forcing himself into having these dreams that go over a very traumatic point in his life where his brother was abducted. Um, And so he believes in like the dream theory where he keeps trying to go back into the dream world and find his brother. And because he, he's already he, deeper than I was expecting. He thinks, <laughs> yeah. he, thinks yeah. he can remember um, uh, who took him. Right. But he can't. Right? But he can't because, you know, but so he keeps trying to go into the dream world and find it. Um, And so. In the meantime, as well, he's taking care of his younger sister because his parents have passed away, right? Mm. So um, he keeps falling out of jobs because he's got a bit, he's got some anger issues, mm. yada, yada. Um, and, you know, he's, he's got trauma. So uh, finally, the job seeker guy um, who's helping him out says that there's a, a new job as the security guard. Uh, from the night shift of Five Nights, uh, Five Nights of Fre- <laughs> Fa- Freddy Fazbear's Pizza uh, Pizzeria, and it's only nights because the place is closed down. Mm-hmm. Only the place is closed down because it was a horrible accident. A bunch of kids went missing. Yeah, and so they had to close it down. Um, but <laughs> turns out there's something spooky going on <laughs> uh, because you know he's he's here at the the Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a pizzeria. Is it? Yeah. He's, here at the five of he's here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Mm. Uh, is there actually pizza at any point? No. 
Oh. Is actually, it, is actually he a, didn't see a pizza no, the once whole in this time. movie. Does he run the security desk? Yeah. That's so like, he's at yeah. the security desk. Yeah, there's the cameras it's all and the, stuff. All the, all the and, pictures from the game are in it. Yeah. And yeah. So so the, the, the I don't want to spoil anything. No, totally. Can right. I ask? Yeah. Uh, because it's a it's the game is um, jump scares. Mm -hmm. Is the film just a jump scare film or is there like tension? Like, kind of, but yeah. also I didn't find that there were any like really egregious jump scares. It wasn't like the full on like, Wee! like it wasn't, it wasn't that. It was, yeah. it was, uh, it was actually very fascinating. And I actually found the animatronics to be quite cute. They I was really so worried you were going to say that no. you found them real sexy. <laughs> no. so I've seen a lot of people make those comments no. already. Because well, obviously there's no body horror stuff in it but based oh, on the rating. Is. Oh, there is? There oh. is. Okay. Oh, like, okay, interesting. Like, it looked like a thing is about to close on his face. In the, in the yeah. yeah. And, okay. and, and uh, there's like, oh, I don't want to spoil anything, but like the, the there's, it, it's mentioned in the movie, there are spring traps inside the, the suits. Right. right. They're animatronics, but they can also double as suits. They can and the spring traps are there to, to keep people you know, in. keep people in the suit. Ooh, and so it's like uh but Squeeze. And, and like uh 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 like Freddie Fazbear <laughs> like people die in it. Freddie ba <laughs> Freddie Fazbear uh, bites somebody in half. Yeah, yeah. Half? Cool. yeah. Wait, yeah. yeah. That doesn't sound like, this Jurassic that doesn't Park? sound M, M to me. Do you, is there is there blood? It's, like, it's silhouette. It's silhouette. 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 Yeah, okay. You see some blood what around. It, what but... was it that we saw? Was it the Uncharted movie where somebody like dragged a knife and it was just like there was no blood? It was like they they did like a, a full on knife cut and the person was like no and then there was Nothing. no blood yeah. and they fell to the ground and it was like. Oh. Mm. Just don't put so, that shot in there if you can't sell it. Yeah, it was like a cut across the floor. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, <laughs> the the animatronics, what well, like I think it was all it was all practical, um, uh, all practical effects. I'm fairly certain. And the animatronics are visually, in my opinion, spectacular. I think mm. they looked so good. They were the perfect creations to kind of embody the the characters in the game. They were yeah, just they, yeah. they were. Clearly, so well made, made with love, made with such attention to detail from like the Jim really Henson, messed apparently. up ones. Yeah, was they... it Jim Henson? Yeah, of course, of that course. Makes sense. They looked <clears throat> incredible, and sure, parts of the movie were shoddy, like not lore accurate, wah, wah, wah. but like I thought it was fun. I thought it was a solid like two point five out of five or three point the three movie. Like yeah. I, I, it was a it was a very mm. average movie, but it was fun. And I feel like you can get away with being an average movie as long as you're fun. Well I think it's also just nailing its target market. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Or, like successfully. It's just also, it's, Josh, I'm just so he's, hot. he's he's <laughs> very like, attractive. The, the Bloomhouse just production mm. plugged into anything just gets it to two and a half mm. yeah. out of the gate he's, as well. Yeah. yeah. He's they, also a short king. Sorry, oh, I'm still on Josh Hutch's short king. He's, he's, he's a short, a short king. king. And, and he's, he's like, anyway. Mm. So, yeah. um, but like also the, the set design, fantastic. Yeah. Mm. It feels like a Chuck E. Cheese that's been left there for too long. It, like, seems, yeah. it seems to be doing really well. It's all right. Like, like commercially doing well. There are so many people who the, are like, oh, this movie the It's like, get yeah. over it. Have fun. Yeah. yeah. Have fun for once. It's year. not I, meant to be Oscar bait. Yeah. Go watch Killers of the Flower Moon. Like, <laughs> like not every movie has to but, be a Scorsese. But, but, but I would also yeah. say you don't have to watch movies at all. You don't have to watch this you over Killers of the Flower Moon. Or you else. Do, yeah, you don't have Is to watch anything. Is this worth spending your money on? I enjoyed it. Yeah, because like I would, you you saying it's a two and a half means I'm there's no way I'd go and see it. I don't because I don't want to spend don't, thirty bucks value, to see something that's not um, good. I don't value movies. Uh, like I don't, I don't decide. <laughs> no, I, I don't Films decide suck, whether or actually. not I'll go to the cinemas based on how good I think the movie is. Because I just love mm. going to the movies. Same. I like going to the cinema. Yeah. 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 Same. And especially, yeah. Yeah. especially yeah. the Five Nights at Freddy's. It was a very small theater. Oh, uh, I love that. Me and my two friends, and the only other people in the cinema were three other people, who, and one of them had seen it like twice already <laughs> so like we had a bit of back and forth with them like we'd make jokes and we had it was Aww. just a few of us and it's an it was such a fun funny That's experience cool, yeah. and yeah, then we yeah. like turned around and had a chat with them afterwards uh it's it's i love going to the movies uh, <laughs> oh my goodness put that away <laughs> <laughs> Put that away. Um, if only. Yeah, I've I've walked in I've walked into the cinema and like 
I've just picked a movie and known nothing about it and been like, I'm just going to see that. That's like, I, I love going to the movies for that reason. And I feel like it's totally valid. I'm worried that the cinema experience is dead though. I, 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 I fucking love going to the movies, man. Yeah, I, have a, I have a Hoyts membership. Same. I have a Palace Me Cinemas membership. Yeah. I yes. share the Dendi membership with my friends. It's the like, only thing that I like care about points on. I right? love going yeah. to movies. It's why. Um, it's and like, then I treat my friends to free tickets. I'm like, don't worry about it. It's, it's no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. I'm a, a Hoyts girl. It's why I loved, <laughs> I loved going to those uh, previews. Yeah. And, and, Makes and uh, you know, shouts out to like all the, the movie makers out there. You need someone to go to the preview of your movie. <laughs> I love going to the movies, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love going to the movie. It's so fun. It's yeah. just, it's yeah. an experience in itself, you know? Yeah. When I saw Hereditary in the cinemas, uh, oh, God. <laughs> there was that point where she's in the corner on the yeah. roof, yeah. And, and the whole movie cinema was silent. And my, my, my partner at the time, like pointed up to the corner because I was kind of just, he could see me looking around. He pointed up to the corner and I, much louder than I thought I did. I went, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I love the movies. <laughs> Only at the movies. Yeah, that's great. I'll that's see great. you at the movies. I'm, oh. I'm bummed Dungeons and Dragons didn't do better commercially because that was such a mm. good time great. at yeah. the movies. I was a, it was a good like yeah. An yeah. energy kind of movie. I saw a yeah. take that was like, if that movie came out, after Baldur's Gate three, it oh, would have been. Which yeah. I rewatched it after that because I was Probably, like, yeah. I was like, Shark needs yeah. to experience. Exactly. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. And now, uh, you went back. You went back I in did. Time a I time traveled yeah. way, way, way back. So I've been doing like a you know, the typical Halloweeny week. I watch a whole bunch of spooky things, and I had a couple of friends over, and we we're like, all right, we'll watch one shit one and one good one, and. Uh, I didn't really get the vote on what they would be. So the shit one <laughs> that we watched was Van Helsing because what do you Kate mean? Beckinsale, real hot. Oh, my what, goodness. Yeah, um, what do you mean shit, though? It's a beautiful film, but it's exclusively for, like, when you're watching it with friends nowadays. It's Five Nights at Freddy's good. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a two it's, and a half. It's, it's yeah. a two and a half. Yeah. yeah. It's a but Richard, Richard Roxburgh great in that oh, movie. Oh, well. excellent. Van yes. Helsing's a good movie. Actually, David Wenham <laughs> as well in that one. A lot of good one-liners. Was that oh, yeah. film shot in Australia? Why was something Aussies in it? I mean, there's just... It must have been. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Fun fact. Gold Coast. Uh, Richard Roxburgh married the vampire... One of the, one the of ladies. The, the, yeah. The wives. Yeah. He married his, his wife. He married a film. vampire bride from it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Not the... Okay, so the... Ha, the, 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 just, the main one, her name is Alira. She's the ginger-haired one. Not her. Uh, the other one. Just one, the one with the dark hair. Mm. That's Richard his Rogers. wife. Yeah, oh, no. just in hot, real hot, life, hot, hot Italian woman. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, and what she a is. dream. Yeah, she truly is. But the Dang. one that I was excited about. <laughs> shut up about Shut up about Ben Nelson. <laughs> uh, for the very, very, very first time in my entire life, all twenty nine years, I watched The Thing. And I have been getting oh, yes. no. so many people one of my to tell favorite me to movies. do it. Actually, one of my knowing? favorite movies of because all time. Because I have like, ugh. I gave <laughs> I gave Steph a traumatic experience where I was like, oh, you have no. to watch this movie. And oh, then I no. and then I went and it, Oh, you didn't warn her. Well I wa no, but did I walked not, but the first of all That's what I was, I was just gonna it. say. First of all, he was watching it. It's like you should watch this movie. And I was like, I have no interest in watching that movie. He's like, you should watch it. And I was like, I just don't care for this kind of film. You and don't then, like body horror. And, well, yeah, but and I was like, and I'm looking at it and I can see that it's something that I don't want to watch. And he was just like, it's just it's just classic horror. It's like the foundation of good horror. It's one of the best movies. And I go, okay, what's it about? And he goes. And then I spent twelve minutes explaining the first three minutes of the film. I'm like, okay, and I, you're in the outfit. He's There's like, a dog running through the snow. I have a helicopter overhead. Meanwhile, the dog. I have eight things in my hands, like one in each finger. Yeah. I'm on the way to my room, and I'm like, cut to the chase. And and where and so the dog is the hero of the film. What no, is the dog isn't relevant. The dog is quickly so, irrelevant. Just stop thinking about the dog. Forget the dog. <laughs> Oh, it's still on the day. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, I did watch it in the end. Hated did, it. You did not like it at oh, all. Oh, I'm awful. so sad. I, I loved it. You watched it. it by yourself and I kept poking my head in like, <laughs> and you're like. So, <laughs> because we had an agreement that we would watch one film that the other one didn't oh, watch. Oh, yeah, that's And fair. so what was the What was the reverse? Film? Uh, I made him watch Belle, which is a period drama. Which is great. About, Belle was great. About a, 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 a <coughs> woman named... Yeah. 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 About yeah. a woman I, called Dido Belle awesome. who um, oh, was, uh, was the yeah. black daughter of an aristocrat and has to deal with kind of like cool. the race versus um, aristocracy stuff at the yeah. time. Yeah. 
Kurt Russell the looks so the good thing, in this The movie. thing is so good. Yeah. I I had put it off for a really, really long time. And um, when I was working at CNET, Mark Serrells was really, really I mean, on my back about like, you need to watch was. this. And at one point he was like, I will make, like we'll create a podcast specifically so you have to watch it and then tell me your thoughts because I want to hear about it. We never actually did any of that. And I never actually watched it until this week, this past what, week. What uh, sparked that choice? Um, other people made the decision. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Honestly, so you were forced into I it, was, like I was. I was forced. Into, well, I was. I was slightly less unwilling. Um, in that I knew that it would be fine because we were going to do it at my house. So if I didn't like it, you I could just simply go, just walk away, it turn it off, and <laughs> pull, pull out the plug. Turn it go, off. Everybody, Bye-bye. go. Home. <laughs> Get out of my house. Yeah. Um, but no, I ended up being engrossed in mm. it. But I, I'm also very, very into that kind of like psychological who is who isn't what's happening kind of thing everybody's so a suspect everybody Anybody i could love be the thing i love a little healthy paranoia yeah just absolutely a, just a touch mm-hmm. of paranoia mm-hmm. and it like i was warned about the dogs so i was able to have some space from some not fun elements of the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy just loved his dogs he loved the dogs yeah, so man. much and i was oh, anyway. oh god look at that hair <laughs> But this is yeah. the best Kurt Russell has ever looked. Honestly, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, Escape from New York. Escape from New York oh, is. True. I, I think. Mean, I think like he looks. Uh, he's he's clean and cut in Escape from New York, even yeah. though he's still beaten up. But he looks. Mm. No, I like it when he's rugged. Mm. Are they, do, are they nice. doing this with a, with a round bl- like brush and a blow dryer? Like yeah. how are they basically? Like, that's, he's gone serious time. He's yeah. Saul Farah. Yeah, right. his son Wyatt Russell. Basically, like yeah. a cross between him and Goldie Horn. That's Look literally how poster. genetics that, work, yeah. Incredible. incredible. Yeah, let's but do the like, poster for Belle. Put those two together in your mind, you wouldn't picture it. Just a yellow like, dress Wow. Yeah. And Different Belle. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, there is nothing better than it just being called The Thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's so special. I remember seeing it on the cover of the of the VHS tape when I would go to the video store and be like, oh. Mm. Yeah. Like, well, after we watched it, I'll I... never watch that movie. <laughs> on, like, Saturday nights, I'll have a little chit-chat with my parents because I'm real cool. Um, and I called my parents and the different vibe that I got from both my mum and my dad on saying, oh, we watched The Thing was, like, completely different. <laughs> Different yeah, ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Where dad was like, oh my God, you watched the, who was the, what, did you think it at the end? Oh my God. And it was just like this yeah. manic energy. And mum was like, then what? The what? The what? The what? The what? Huh? The huh? What? Oh, you watched the, the huh? thing. What's that? The, the thing. Yeah. That's what it's called. <laughs> is that what it's yeah. called? Okay. That, I, like, I'm, I'm putting can... on a voice to make her sound really old, and she'll be real mad about that. She's not that old. She's young. She's, she's I'm youthful. Just, yeah, she's a youthful mum. I just, I feel like you can't, you can't do that anymore, right? Like you couldn't call him. Is this your mum here, the insidious taco? I finally made it to live show. Is Insidious Taco your mum? <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, unless she's really changed <laughs> in a very short period of like, time. She only just made it to Instagram. She is not on Twitch yet. <laughs> if a movie came out in 2023, a horror movie, and it was called The Stuff, do you think, Stuff. like, would you go, this might be one of the best movies of all time based the on this name or Stuff. It's interesting because, like, obviously it's a – it's a reference to well, the, there's a yeah. 50s version of the, the thing, thing from, from, outer space. from outer space, but there's there's like there's the thing from outer space. There's like films like the the Blob and oh, yeah. them, and it's yeah. just it's from it's referencing that era mm. that was mm. really what generic is that? big yeah. idea titles. Yeah, uh, yeah, because you can kind of get away. Well, you could get away with that because nothing else was called that. Yeah, yeah, you but know what I mean? totally, it was it's the first time thing. something was yeah. called. The Bl- thing. That's a blob, so we should just. This is the, the blob. blob. But also, yeah. like, if that's... there's another blob that comes afterwards, it has to be called Flubber. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be, it has to be really it's good obviously at basketball. Flubber. <laughs> obviously, yeah, yeah. That, because uh, I feel like there's there's just an element of just such pure truth to the fact that if I was in that situation, I too would f- refer to it as yeah, oh, that I, thing. Yeah. I don't think I'd give it give it like a, a scientific name. I think no. it'd just be like, oh, what's that the thing? The thing over there. Like the first alien, like Ridley Scott's alien. 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 Mm. Alien. That's what it says on the tin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, it's just it's it's so perfect. Mm. It's so perfect. It's, it's just a great so good. film, and I really love that it's all practical. Oh, I yeah. didn't realize until because I did my typical like post watch IMDb like deep dive mm. into all of the trivia, and I I didn't realize that it was an Ennio Morricone score. I didn't realize oh that God, everything yeah. was practical and that they made everything that. Incredible. Upon thinking about that, made it 
so much better. I don't, did you have a choice in 82? Not really, mm. but like considering it stacks up pretty well. Oh, yeah, yeah. big time. Yeah, it, yeah. it looks fantastic. Yeah. Like it still does. And what's really cool about it is it's kind of just like what guys do. It's kind of just the perfect embodiment of like what the fellas are doing on and it's, yeah. yeah. it's a frat It's movie. kind of just yeah. the boys hanging out and some crazy it's shenanigans. It's yeah. a real like last night was like a movie, bro. I thought you meant like, like <laughs> the like, it's just like the boys inability to, to, to open up to each other seeds distrust. <laughs> among men and that you were just too. like it's just a bunch of guys a palling boy. around yeah. <laughs> it, it, no, it, it, getting the fellas but over that's it. it's the guys hanging out it's yeah. the guys hanging out yeah. something's amiss but it's the guys hanging out and nobody wants to be honest with each other yeah <laughs> and petri dish scene yeah Pet see i liked that but oh, i got I really so cranky cool. with it, it yeah because the whole point of it is that they don't want to cross contaminate so that the thing spreads yeah but they use the same, the same knife to cut everybody open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, and, and, and that's, that's, that's where dumb. they goofed it. They and goofed that's, it. And that's how everybody became the thing. Everybody, yeah. Or, or did they? Or did they? Who's Is there the petrol thing? in that bottle at the <gasps> end? Mm. Interesting. Mm. I have really, like, gone hard into the research since watching it. Yep. Um, um, because of just who I am well, as a person, yeah. like I did this. Well. Oh, like 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 when you're in the middle of watching a movie, or you're ten minutes in, and you're like, I'm looking up all of the cast and crew on IMDb. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. And, and like, where do I know actor. him before? Because I yeah. know, oh, I know that voice. I know, th and I can't not give in to those urges yeah. every oh, single it. time. It's it. immediately. It's a, it's a trip too when you watch a movie from like the '60s or '70s or '80s, and that actor is still working, and mm. you're like, why does this person look familiar? And you're yeah. like, oh shit! Yeah. yeah, and like the one They're for the me was um, <laughs> something that's happening. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. like Maggie Smith or something, yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like, oh, this is that person then. Hundred percent. The one for me was Keith David. Because he's very, very young in the thing. Yes. And the voice, yeah. like, triggered the little brain itch. Yeah. Mm. Um, and also Wilford Brimley because of Twitter is the only reason that I knew the name <laughs> Wilford Brimley because of the cocoon line. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's a real man. He's a, yeah. he's he a real guy. And it's funny because, like, literally just before the show, uh, Steph showed me uh, not you. I uh, didn't. I didn't show you, you. anything, You've, and I never. You're will. not showing. I won't me show shit. you anything, and that's why we're ever friends. Again. Because and you're never going to show me anything, and you'll never want to be shown. And that's so true. It and I've always said that about both of us. <laughs> so Steph showed me a clip from Shark Tale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the so shrimp. Steph, the Steph shrimp. Showed me, shrimp. Steph oh, showed right. me the shrimp. The I've forgotten all the, about this scene. <laughs> I love it so the, much. Steph showed me the squeaky shrimp oh. scene from Shark Tale and like we laughed but then like my immediately f immediately my first thought after being shown that clip was oh who did the voice <laughs> yeah. and I immediately look it up oh, on IMDb it and it's so like oh it's much. just some guy that yeah. was fucked because I saw a girl who did a Halloween costume yes. where she dressed yes, as the shrimp and that. then filmed herself doing the whole monologue oh and it's like the the two sharks the, there's like a mob boss shark and his son and his son won't Kill. And so he's like, you got to mm. do it. It's a and, great film. And I'm he, not gonna and he tasks oh, yeah, him, yeah, he tasks yeah, him yeah. with with uh, with with killing the shrimp, yeah. and the shrimp pleads for its life, but in a really intensely like fucked up Telling rant. The whole family but I don't story. remember being in the film. And he just like talks about how his, he had to take on his sister's baby because his sister died, and then the baby lost the its arms and legs, and then he had no to legs. like he had to take on a second job he's at the factory to keep the baby yeah. shrimp alive, and he's making it work, but it's still hard. That's He's so happy. funny. And, but that wasn't the movie that you watch. So uh, the thing you hated or rate it. <laughs> I loved it. Loved it. Was it. Great. So, yeah. Seth, you didn't watch Shark Tale. No. You no. watched a little bit of Shark Tale, but you watched more of something else. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And what yeah, was yeah. that? Uh, so, I have just finished the final season of Physical starring Rose Byrne, and I Ooh, love oh, Rose love Byrne. Yes. It's on Apple TV. I watch a lot of stuff on Apple TV. Mm -hmm. When Apple TV launched, I was just like, there's nothing here. What the hell is Apple TV? It's now become something that f it, I will say that it, it has a very specific um, aesthetic look to it. All yeah. of Apple TV mm, sh funded yeah. shows. I agree. It all comes out of the same production house. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's and that's very like. There's a sheen. Too shiny. There's yeah, a sheen and a specific color grade to everything, mm. and it's very sharp. It must be shot on specific cameras yeah. and all that kind of stuff because they, they all have a specific look to them. But it's God, um, beautiful. it's she's based so, uh, so it's beautiful. based around a, a a fictional character called um, Sheila Rubin, who finds herself at the sort of 
um, beginning of the uh, aerobics VHS era. Mm. And what's interesting about the story, and I, I guess what I found interesting about it, because I, I tend to gravitate towards stories about women and I like um, female-led dramas. At one point, I remember Netflix algorithm was like, Shows featuring strong female lead. And I was like, well, you got me yep. pegged. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Um, so, yeah, this is very much, I, I think um, what I really liked about it is that it it kind of, it told a story about uh, a female experience that I felt like had not really been covered mm. at all mm. in television and covered well um, in that she, and I guess trigger warning, content warning, it's got very strong eating disorder themes. Yeah. Uh, specifically around like, I guess, um, bulimia and she and I guess what I feel like um, a lot of shows miss or a lot of like different media miss when they're trying to cover this topic is is really the internal dialogue that mm. is at the core of a lot of that stuff and this show kind of centers around that internal voice so it's almost like there's two characters it's it's the Sheila that you see on screen who's interacting with everyone and then there's this internal dialogue that kind of um dictates uh the way that she should be feeling or reacting to things or every decision she makes it kind of cuts her down and mm. makes her second guess herself and it's it it really kind of um grasps what it's like to kind of constantly have this voice in your head that is um just uh so dis so destructive mm. at every point and the way that she kind of <laughs> tries at various stages to kind of battle with this voice and overcome it. And the show has a um, – it deals with it well in the sense that it's a um, – shows her go through the whole kind of journey, yeah. you know. And it ends in a way that I think is really satisfying and, and ultimately positive, I think, is, is, good, is mm. important to say. Um, but, yeah, I just found it so and, – and I think what's important with these things too is that it's something that a lot of people – go through at some stage of their lives and it's not something that you necessarily can like move past f indefinitely mm. it's something that you kind of that people kind of will have to navigate f in some form forever and she just I don't know I really I, f I was so drawn in by it because I felt like there were writers on this show who just really kind they of put them, they've got yeah. it and they put themselves into it in a way that just I'd never seen anything like it before mm. and I was I was like, I want to see more TV that that approaches things in this way that feels like it's creative, it's dynamic, it's entertaining, but it's also cutting to the truth of something in a way that I think is really effective and mm. awesome. So yeah, I feel like it's 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 gone through. I think it's four seasons in total, and it has various kind of dips and lows and and peaks and stuff in terms of the storyline. But ultimately, I was so invested in her as a character, and Rose Byrne is such a good actress. Like. Mm. I just, I think she's one of my favorite actors of all time. You know, she just does comedy and drama and. Yeah. Um, she's so funny. She's yeah. great. And, and she just is really great at, at, at expressing. Yeah. In, yeah. In, she in, carries in she's free show. Carries it. She's it's, a local. Yeah. yeah. See, that, yeah. that makes me really. Well, I, I watched some of the first season, but I watched it like at the height of lockdown. So I was like, oh, this is too much for me right sure. now. Yeah. I'm going to have to come back to this. And then. By default, because there's a million other things all of the time, yeah. I just mm -hmm. never ended up coming back to it. And my takeaway at that point in time was, oh, that's too heavy for me. I can't watch that. Yeah. But hearing that it does have that kind of satisfying resolution, that does yeah. make me want to go back and be like, all right, well, I'm I'm in a pretty good headspace now. I can I can handle this and not feel like the world is... Ugh. Yeah, so, yeah. And yeah. I think it's also like, I think they realised also that it's, it's super intense in the first two seasons mm. and then she kind of goes through a shift and then I would say it kind of affects her in different ways going right. forwards and, and not quite as like, yeah, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, it, it's, I think they deal with it well mm. and it resolves in a way that makes you feel optimistic yeah. and, and yeah. satisfied. Oh, look, and it, uh, yeah, the, like the, obviously the um, struggle that she has with like body image and self-worth all related to the like uh, bulimia mm. it is a central part of her character yeah. but it's like the setting is really interesting in the it's like a 70s political landscape that she's got this politician husband who's like mm. a bit of a hippie 
piece of shit, mm. like useless dude, mm. and and like the power dynamic of even women in the at the time as well. Like there's yeah. there's so many layers to the show, mm. um, and there's like uh yeah there's like local politics and there's uh there's like commercialism and all of that stuff because it's a, like you know again uh, this show is about commercialism. It's about her making vhs tapes to sell mm. you know it's like it's so interesting in how layered it is and but her character just carries the whole thing she's amazing yeah, yeah. and also even though it it feels it feels like it's a success story about a woman who's who sort of starts a, a business at the start of a boom it's actually like at a time when women were still not considered uh you know business women or, or power mm. players or you know they were still primarily Caregivers and caregivers, considered yeah. caregivers and mothers and stuff um, like that, and so she's still in a lot of situations where she just can't kind of be heard or taken seriously, and and really kind of struggles with all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, I just. But she gets a lot of, even though she's still negging herself all the time, she gets a lot of wins along the way, which yeah. are really satisfying to watch her. Yeah. Come Hell away yeah. with, and then yeah, and then her dealing with those wins as well is interesting. It's awesome. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I loved it. You loved it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What have you been watching? <laughs> Tell Whoa. us. Jacu. Tell us or else. Uh, I watched The Creator. Gareth uh, Edwards. Same old words. The science fiction movie. Right. Uh, serious or funny? Uh, serious. I knew okay. nothing about this before you saw it. When you said I'm going to see The Creator, I thought... Like you, I thought you were going to I meet my mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, thought, yeah, I think I was. Gonna, a, I thought it was to be fair, it was a Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. popping oh, out. Could have just been going to mass. Just, Meeting yeah. my maker. Yeah, yeah. No big yeah. deal. Uh, no, I. Um, uh, Telltale Games is back. Welcome. Hello. Uh, I've Hi. Just, the Expanse. Awesome. Hi. We're talking about the creator now. Uh, also, Rasco just yeah. games, uh, oh, really? rated oh. as well. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, everybody. everybody. Howdy. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, so the creator is Gareth Edwards' uh, latest project. Um, for those of you who don't know that who that is, uh, yeah. biggest project that Gareth Edwards worked on was uh, directing Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, oh, yes. Uh, Josh Alai. Is this part of a film uh, or is it, is it its own thing? This is not a Star Wars uh, film. Uh, cool. And awesome. uh, before that, he made a film called Monsters, uh, which was a great little indie science fiction um, oh, I apocalypse remember, I remember film. that. Uh, really effective storytelling um, for, for a low budget. And uh, it was awesome when he got the Star Wars job and you're like, oh, cool, like a small filmmaker getting a chance to do something big. Um, and uh, there's probably some nepotism attached to him. I love Rogue One. Yeah, I love Rogue One. Yeah, I love Rogue One. It was really cool. Uh, it the was creator, good. I saw everyone attached to it and I was like, amazing. Um, <laughs> And oh, it is a, and also beautiful. Chen. Yeah, it is a science fiction film uh, about artificial intelligence. So it's very like now, um, and it is set in the near future, uh, and humanity struggle with artificial intelligence. The setup of the film is that uh, AI uh, was in the West and uh, set off a nuclear. Um, Holocaust in Western cool. cities, no. uh, but the West fought back and has now outlawed artificial intelligence. But mm. the East continues to use support and uh, aid and abet the flee the fleeing artificial intelligence that's trying mm. to just survive. Um, and so that's kind of the the setup for the whole thing. Yeah. Um, Ken oh. Watanabe, isn't it? Ken Watanabe is in it. I and love is, Ken Watanabe. So good. Is uh, this yeah. the one with the, the child? This is the one with the child. So it's a child. It's a, it's it's got I know a there's very, a child. Um, retro futuristic mm, look to yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Like it, the, it those is, punchy uh, colors. I, 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 mm. it's, it's the best looking film. Yeah. Okay. It is amazing. The production design is incredible. The visual effects are amazing. The film was shot on Sony FX3s. This is a bit tech boring boring but uh uh the like the bottom of the line of sony's cinema cameras mm. so it's not a it's not really a consumer camera but it is the bottom level prosumer camera um and they shot on that they shot in 80 locations cool. uh but they still made this film for something like i can't remember 80 million, 80 million, bucks. Yeah. million. Yeah. um so like a, a cheap massive film mm. uh and because they were able to shoot on such small light gear and move around really quickly i don't know how the visual effects team worked on this film they it, like it's carefully it, uh have you seen have you seen the love witch no it's oh, oh I've, 
yeah. <laughs> women. <laughs> um, the, the, it, it kind of, it just like with that visual look, the, the kind of grainy, but like really punchy colors, it reminds me a lot and of the specific the color grade, that, that kind of yeah. 1960s, 1970s. Yeah. Mm. But uh, the, the thing that blows my mind is this, this was all, like it was all shot on, like, you know, there's professional gear, I've seen their professional crews, but they're shooting on pretty cheap gimbals with really light cameras and mm. all this stuff. And like, You've none, there's not a single visual effect in this film where I'm like, oh, that didn't work. And mm. it is mostly visual effects, this film. Mm. So and they're just shooting in the daylight thing. and like, I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they did it. But anyway, that's not the point of the film. <laughs> it's just that it looks beautiful. Um, and uh, yeah, it is a, um, I will say ultimately it is an okay movie. Uh, story despite wise. Despite being or... one of the, I think it has a perfect first half hour mm. and then the story can't find itself. I don't think John David Washington is a particularly strong actor, though I really like him. Mm. In this? In or in anything. general? Oh. I think the only thing he's been really good in was Black Klansman. He oh, was, yeah, that's He was true. bad Klansman. in Tenant, but Tenant was also Tenet was just also a bit of a good. mess was, of a Tenet film. was just bad. Sorry. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would I, love, I would love to be proven wrong with more roles he's in, but he's not mm. particularly good in this, I don't think. Gemma Chan, also not a great actor. <laughs> Be- but so, beautiful. So However, beautiful. Oh, this is the oh, best oh. role she's played. She yeah, has like yeah, a yeah. few lines in this where I'm like, oh yeah, she acted the shit out of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ooh, so the she's first cool. thing I saw Gemma Chan in was Humans, and she was playing yeah. an android, oh, and I was okay. like, holy fuck, she, she can do is android nice. so she well. Is nailing that. Mm. And then I saw her in something else, and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no, that's she's just what she's doing. She's just, a, she's just an android. Yeah, yeah. But but I think there's an element of finding her feet too because because I do think she's she's improved in a lot of the different things I've seen her. She's great in Humans, yes, as we just said because because of that mm. uh and she's uh she she works well in this there, there's a um there's it really is the john david washington plus child film um and the child is really good I, i'm not i don't know the big fan of the, the child, the, the the child almost, i don't know how to describe it but like the 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 human mask over the robot head so oh, impressive yeah. so yes. uh, cool it's madeline uh univoils is the um the child actor's name the child. shout out uh, to she, madeline yeah. univoils. she uh, she is really really it's strong so cool. mm. uh but yeah the, the plot of the film is uh pretty generic and pretty weak the the final act of the film is mm. just a just a disaster is it predictable or is it just like <clears> a <throat> yeah oh. it's predictable and and just just <laughs> Weak writing and uh, and 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 just odd choices right. um, that make the that really just stretch the whole thing to the point where it's so thin you see right through it. Mm. But yeah, just like the start of the film is so dense, it's almost like Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Mm, good, right. mm. where I you're like, oh movie. shit, this uh, is so which a world building film. is good. Which then. is like you have to do Sorry? so much set up and world building in yeah. films like that that yeah. like to so achieve that well is hard. Yeah, so they've totally. got a great mm. world, they just didn't fill it. Yeah, they just they just had a, they just had um, I think the wrong ideas about what they the story they were trying to mm. tell sh- like should do as it moves forward. It just yeah, it felt so played. I found um, that like a lot of AI ones at the moment are a little bit like, for lack of a better word, preachy. Yeah, is it like that? Yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's heavy handed in its messaging and stuff because right. it's so obvious. Like the goodies and the baddies. It's the same allegory of like. Uh, the empire versus you know the people starving in the rice fields is where they put these like ai characters you know it's like it's it's been played a million times this story i'm sorry for laughing at you but i just really like that it was the goodies and the baddies <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, really yeah. Cute. that's what they Very are they're the good it's so clear <laughs> the um, goodies. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, i uh, i see people saying sorry you, you wouldn't see it in the you're not going to see it now i think if you have any intent to see it and it's almost at the end of its cinema run it's so beautiful. It's you know worth seeing on a massive screen. Mm-hmm. Going to the cinema. Going to the cinema going, is great. It's just a great go time. To the movies. Yeah. Go to just the movies. Go to the, it does it it does not matter what you see at the movies. Just go to the movies. Yeah. There is a joy yeah. in getting so much popcorn just yeah. in a hand and shoveling it into your <laughs> get, mouth while you watch visuals. I'm, I'm a get lizard yourself. popcorn eater. I like to like oh, get yeah. out of the top and tongue. I have this is a controversial one. I like to get a frozen Pepsi and put popcorn into it. On top. Okay. Not to like. Okay. I see. Do you the still face. have the? Do you still have the straw that's got the spoon bottom? Let in, me cook. Let me cook. Okay. No. So cook, okay. cook away. I don't want to like put it deep into the Pepsi. I want it to have like a layer of popcorn over the top, 
so that you get a little bit of salty, a little bit of sweet. It doesn't make the popcorn go soggy because you're not leaving it in there long enough. It's just a little bit of like a dip okay. situation. And it is, it's the perfect blend. You get a bit of a film around it's the a, popcorn. It's an, I wouldn't call it a film. Film is a, not a nice word. You're at for the films. Them. We're you at don't the get film, a film. At the film, and you're partaking in is what essentially like the perfect blend of salty and sweet. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. You're creating a kind of a, a molecular gastronomy experience yes, in your popcorn thank bucket. Thank you. That is yeah. exactly what I'm yeah. going to tell everyone from now temperature. On. I don't agree with it. Oh, yeah. I, I think I think it's I think it's, <laughs> I think fucked it's a up. crime. I think I think it's like getting a packet of sweet chili chips and putting it in a cup of milk. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're insane. I think that's fine. I do want to say about the creator. Uh, again, I think that first half hour is so perfect. Um, Gareth Edwards stole from me. Because I've always dreamed about putting uh, the Radiohead song "Everything in Its Right Place" into a film, <laughs> and he did it so well you know, that it can't allowed. be done again. Oh, no, it can't be done again. Allowed. It's perfect the way that's used in this oh. film, and just the feeling of it was so good. If you if you're gonna spend thirty dollars on a movie ticket, you spend a dollar a minute in that first half hour, and then you could leave. <laughs> but it'd still be worth it. Or or pay for an annual membership at your local movie theater. Because then you get cheap tickets or every now and then you get free tickets. Yeah. It's, it's pretty so awesome. Good. It's super worth I, it. I will say also, uh, Mido and I went and saw a movie at a mums and bubs session. Oh, my God. Which was just such a genius move because it was like there was one mother in the front row with her baby and then Mido and I sat up the back and we could just talk through the whole film. She couldn't hear us but also wouldn't care anyway because her baby was crying and we just had the experience of watching a movie and being able to kind of like chat through it and oh, I love just like that. who cares about yeah. it gives a shit. it's my new favorite thing <laughs> yeah 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 right. incredible and yeah. she left halfway through yeah, yeah. 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 you awesome. know what's really good is that if you go to palace cinemas they have olive oil popcorn and I it's want not butter yeah it's incredible it's, it's so really tasty. fucking good also at the, fancy, at, fancy. i don't know if, yeah. i don't know if fancy, anybody fancy. else will ever be allowed to do this i hope so but i once went to the palace cinemas in Leica, ordered the spaghetti and they let me <gasps> eat it in the cinema yes i had a whole plate of spaghetti I'm while a spaghetti. i watched a movie if you go on the monday it's night incredible. it's like cheap movie night at, yeah. the palace the box? at leichhardt no I mean, no, no we're, not we're not gonna <laughs> do you think and, you and, just and, and i was like can i take this in and the guy who worked there was like i don't care <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, Palace Cinemas fucking rocks. I love them. Not love sponsored, them all, but I do love but them. Also, but also, if yeah, they want to give us movie tickets, yeah, yeah, they're a lot cheaper than the These other. Two love I want to go to the movies. movies. They're, they're, a lot, love they're a lot cheaper than the other cinemas. Their uh, membership is really cheap, and they've got really cool film festivals. They're awesome. I the, love them. The as last thing I'll shout out is that um, if you go to Dendi, the Chalk Tops there are like. I remember the first time I got a Dendi Chalk Top. Mm. To quote Josh, mm. I was like, "Oh my goodness." Yeah. <laughs> as well, though. They make them in house there they, and they are gigantic. So does uh, the Ritz in really? Randwick. And oh my God, oh. those those chalk tops are incredible. I will pop a lactis just for the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I raw dog it. Anyway. Go for it. <laughs> Who cares? That was on other screens. That was pocket, 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 pocket segment. And uh, I back think it's about time we go to a break. Yeah, for sure. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's get to it. Annoy everyone on the train with the noisy mini games of Headbangers Rhythm Royale. Up to 30 pigeons will battle it out, and only one will survive. Begin your ascent into Don't Nod's beautiful Jusson. Try to reach the summit to see where all the water went. Just keep on climbing in Silent Hill Ascension, a collaborative interactive streaming experience that tells a story based on decisions made by the players. In Australia, it kicks off on November 1st at 11:30 a.m. AEDT. You will die here tonight. A Resident Evil 1 love letter where death is not the end.
end. Playing as one of the six characters, you'll need to learn from your fallen friend's progress. Death is a bit of a theme this week where murder mystery game The Bed We Made puts you in the middle of a murder mystery as Sophie, a nosy hotel maid in the 1950s. Robocop is getting a modern console game with Rogue City. And rounding it out with another minigame romp, we have WarioWare Move It. There are over 200 micro games in this one. I'm excited to check it out because being married to Peter has made me really come to appreciate micro things. <laughs> Sick of being seen? Cabo. Want a light in plain sight? Cabo. Want a spy on a deer? Cabo. Want to shoot those deer? Fire! Cabo. Want to get close enough to a pack of deer that you could dress up as a deer, gradually earn their trust, become accepted as one of their own, wait until the stag dies and inherit alpha control, guide that deer herd for a decade until you are their most celebrated deer elder, and then shoot that deer and mount it on a fucking wall? Camo. Camo camping equipment. You've seen the rest. Now try and find the best. You can't, because it's camo. Skateboard. Oh, fuck. Oh, sh shit, shit. Shit. Shit, I don't know how I'm gonna get home now. Welcome back to the show, everyone. We had words there from the coastal city plus Lucas Maguire. That poor skateboard. We never saw it again. Uh, we saw the ad for the game plan. Mm, that's me. I do that. Rude. Uh, and we saw uh, Camo's ad as well. Um, and podcasts. Yeah. Got a, I just we, want to remind you, Steph, it's, it's the game plan where you said he had a little, little penis. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, penis yeah. Plan. that one. Yeah. Rude. Yeah. Mind you, Pete wrote that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there's nothing braver and nothing cooler than a man that can be so open. It's tiny. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> hey, dude. Good for you. That's fucking sick, man. <laughs> that rocks. DJ Little Penis. <laughs> Go uh, off. Podcast. Podcast. Speaking podcast. of Woody's. <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah, we've got the podcast coming out tomorrow. Uh, it's an episode with Woody um, from <laughs> Beethoven and Dinosaur. He was producer on The Artful Escape. Hell yeah. Um, and as I mentioned in the intro of that podcast, he's also in a punk band and has a dangly earring. So I thought he would be <laughs> the person best equipped to answer the question of, are video games cool? He's a very cool person. He's a very cool yeah. person. Yeah, he's undeniably cool. a cool person. He's, he's also a huge dork and a loser. Absolutely. So, yeah. Uh, he can still he can answer the question about video games, but he's cool, so we can also answer the question about whether they're cool or not. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, I love him. Love that guy. Subscribe it's, to it's a good episode. Buds. And also, if you listen to uh, if you if you're on the Patreon, mm. if you're on the gold tier of the Patreon, uh, you can hear the bonus episode that I recorded with Peter. That's me. Where we argued a little bit. A little, oh, from we time argued time. about what the point of the, the podcast was. Yeah, that's true. But that was when once we were already 25 minutes into the 40 minute podcast <laughs> and realized we've been talking about different things. <laughs> yeah, we, we'd, be, we'd been using separate ranking systems. Um, but it's, uh, it's very funny. Yeah. Um, it's a really good episode. So join the Patreon yeah. uh, on the gold gold tier so you can get the bonus episode now's a good time to do it because it's uh we've just hit a new month so at the end of every month all of the uh behind the uh paywall patreon bonus content does get released to the, the silver, silver tier, tier members uh so uh the october um content will be coming to you guys soon but uh this is the, you're not going to hear this for a month if you want to yeah. hear that 
Gold tier is the place to be. Wow. Yeah. Gold tier is the place to be. Uh, but we've still got some more show to do, and we're going to get going with a very good gameplay. <laughs> very good gameplay. That good. sentence sounded like it was going to continue, well, but then it didn't. It's, it's, so got, good. it's got to be I'm a so very excited. good gameplay. So, so good. good. It's got to be a very good gameplay. It's so cute. What is <laughs> happening right now? Uh, I've picked a game. <laughs> uh, I have a little bit of a I'm discussion five. point to start us off with, but I've picked the game uh, Scene Investigators I'm keen to play. Oh, um, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let Scene investigators. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god, Panacasio! Wait! Oh my god! Holy shit! Wait, do- I, I, think I, I, I think I can get it into a side fringe. Hold on, I can't. I can't Goodbye. do that without teasing. Oh my god! Let's, you, let's oh, almost there. Almost you there. You all would have been amazing I, on oh, MySpace. I was. Oh, oh my god! You can do this. It. Is this is scene yeah. here? Peter, you try. Wait, 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 wait. Do, can I? Is it, but I won't have enough to go forward. No. And and my hair, when I was doing my hair like this, it was so big. Oh, my But I would like, say the oh, thing yeah. to complete this it's is. It's the feathered look. Is, um, Incredible. Is a. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, Josh. Yes. Amazing. Fuck yes. Yeah. I feel like I, I would, need to I would get say like the, the thing- back. Zoomed up like this. Yeah, that's the thing. You like, need to you need to back comb it. Yeah, All it I wanted was... my hair to look like this for years. Mm. Yeah. So Where what are if you? I can't forget you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but tonight <laughs> will be the night that, that I, will that I will fall, fall for, for you over again. again. Don't make me change my <laughs> mind. I won't live, live to see, see another, another day. day. I, I swear. swear Cause a girl like you is impossible to find. You're impossible to find. <laughs> what did I start? I'm so sorry. Investigators <laughs> is a deduct is a deductive reasoning game, not a MySpace game. Deductive reasoning game for fans of the true crime genre. Step into recreated crime scenes, observe closely for pieces of evidence, analyze possible motives behind the crimes, and uncover what truly happened. So it's kind of like an escape room, but it's a crime has happened, and we get, we're, we're going to David Caruso oh, okay. it. Yeah, That's yeah, why I, I screamed you, yeah at the top of the show. Sponsored by? It is sponsored by Dump Days. Mm-hmm. Woohoo! Thank you Woo-hoo. very much. Uh, so let's check out the Dump <laughs> Days comic. All right. What's happening? There these, are some these, turtles. Uh, these are not I buy. <laughs> these oh are God. some turtles. These are not I buy. Uh, Ruby, you do a good Mamma Mia. So, Steph, do you want to read uh, for Leonardo and I'll read for Donatello? What? Do you want to read for Leonardo? I have not got my glasses on, so I'm not going to lie. could say anything. Do you, want, do you want my glasses? Do you have astigmatism in your right eye? <laughs> Let me see. That actually does help. Yeah, put right. yeah. Okay. Which one are you doing? So, uh, maybe we start at the top. I think we start with Ruby. Yeah. <gasps> Mamma mia! He just, he just jumped right on his head. He killed Mikey! <laughs> and scene. And scene. Very good. Uh, a wonderful comic there from Dump Days. Uh, make sure you go and check out what Dump Days posting uh, on uh, socials, but also in the creative channel. Dump Days is always posting. Cause what I like about that comic is the, um, the, the distress, and I feel m- regret. On Mario's face totally. as he's Mario grappling, as he's grappling with the consequences of his actions. <laughs> Did you yeah. see that? Oh yeah. God, yeah. The broken He's neck. like, what have I done? Yeah. So Is this who I really am? <laughs> it's just brutal. It's <laughs> just Incredible. brutal. Uh, so there you go. Thank you, Dump Days. Uh, the question that I, I did want to ask about the true crime genre is, why do women love true crime so much? Uh, actually, well, I, I, was, I actually, it's very I've been trying to figure question. it out for a really long say, time. And I, can't, I can't come up with like a conclusive answer. Because I was like, oh, maybe it's because uh, like morbid curiosity. But like, doesn't everyone have morbid curiosity? I think um, I don't know this for sure. Mm. But I think part of like, weirdly enough, I think part of what I enjoy about true crime is kind of what I enjoy about period dramas, mm. where mm. it's like um, both tend to center around women and challenging situations. <laughs> yeah, it's not and right I, for women. Yeah. Mm. And I think I like to Im- imagine like how would I get out of that situation or like how would I try and survive this? Mm. <laughs> and 
obviously in period dramas, it's very romanticized and stuff, but it is still, a, it's a strange time for women to have to be dealing with. And I think a lot of true crime centers around, mm. yeah. We're overcoming adversity. Uh, overcoming adversity. And yeah. then there's also just a really good but, mystery. Okay, so that you're, you're, you, you like the true crime that's more, <laughs> most specifically, uh, Girls Love a Bad Boy. No. Oh my fucking God. No. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, They're murderers. You're about, you you're about <laughs> women, women killing men and getting away with it. That's no, good. I mean, no, ideally, no, 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 no. Just generally, women. just general murder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Usually, usually, like, like I listened to a podcast recently that I that was that was a true crime podcast, and I stopped listening to it because it it was just going into the details of the Fucking murder objects. and not going into the <laughs> solving of it. Mm. What's interesting about it is like is is what everyone loves about true crime mm. is that it's about trying to how do you find the use the evidence in a way that will help you solve this yeah. mystery? Yeah. But I, but but like I mean, and I only ask that question because it's like at least memed as a, a truth that women are way more into it than men because I have I have very little interest in it. Yeah. But I, I like men I like listening love, to serial. Men just love we just doing, love doing killing. the crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We love to kill. We, we don't have time it. to listen to podcasts. Yeah. We're killing all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's the pace of it's, it. I don't I know. Yeah. I think I like also the fact that, I mean, if I watch a movie or a, a TV show or whatever, then I can typically pick the ending more often than not. But with true crime, it's like, well... Can yeah. you guess it? Because that means you're better oh. than an investigator yeah, mm. right. who's dealing yeah. with it. Yeah, like you know where R.L. Stein is going yeah. mm. in yeah. Goosebumps. Yeah. But I can I can envision the tropes. Yeah, and, yeah. and we had someone called Larry Hemsworth in the chat, which I'm assuming is a real one. Yeah, um, definitely. There are 80 of them. They said, uh, they said, I don't have morbid curiosity. Ignorance is bliss. And I respect that. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. respect like looking at like uh, uh, a cold case murder and going, I don't know. Yeah, well. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just doing That's something else. <laughs> well, I, I don't need to know. No. Though ignorance is bliss is the platform that Trump ran on. Mm. Yeah. It's I don't know shit. I, I don't yeah. know shit. I don't need to. No. Exactly. Yeah. And nor do you. Yeah. And then yeah. everyone's like, Woo, we yeah. don't need to know shit. I don't want to read. Uh, let's play the video game, shall we? Let's do oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. So uh, let me bring it up. All right. Oh, hang on. I got an alt tab to it. Okay. Oh, it's coming through my laptop. Whoa. <laughs> trying to... Oh, no. Oh, did I just mute it for you? Oh. Hang on, i got to turn my laptop volume up, down, and then can you turn it up, Josh, if you want to hear the game? Uh, so... This has a... Uh... I know, but I can't, I can't I with my function machine. keys, mute my laptop without the muting the machine. I'm a big fan of the So machine. I need you to go I into the machine and turn the volume one. up. No, I love yeah. being hooked to the machine. Yeah. Oh. One thing, if I could be hooked to a machine, I would. Which yeah. one? Yeah. The. The one. The one. The only one The that machine. Counts. That's the a machine. great, the thing. Yeah. yeah. The machine. A modern, the, machine. the thing would be the machine. Oh, the, Which okay, one yeah. of us is the machine? Freddie Fazbear? Mm. Uh, that's too, He's, too human. You know, what, you know what I loved about Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> yeah, tell me. <laughs> you know what I loved about Five Nights at Freddy's is that at one point they were just kind of nice. Yeah. They were just like nice. Lull you into a false sense of security. No, no, they were just the kids. They, they're kids. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Of course, yeah. They're, 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 ch okay. they're children. Brains trust have consumed a lot of true crime. I need you to help me solve crimes. I'm so I good haven't. at it. Oh, I'm not good at solving crimes. I've, I've, I've watched a lot of Lord and Order SVU. I thought you were going to say Lord of the Rings then. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, that's not going to help. Yeah. I, I get I, I, I get taken in by twists and turns all the time. Mm. Oh, see, I, Never I know like where it's a going. challenge. Here we go. I'm, I'm I, so good. Instead of Her Horatio, I went with Horatio. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Oh, wow. Because women. women. What, a, what an ally. Good boss. Wow. <laughs> what an ally. What an ally. Yeah. yeah. I've always said that about you, Pete. You're such an ally. I just keep allying. I mean, you let us bonk you on the head at the girl episode. That's true. That is yeah. true. Uh, so, uh, ally. I, I did jump in uh, earlier just to see what was going to happen. Uh, and so, we need to read a lot. Okay. You ready? Right. I, mm -hmm. I can play mostly with the controller here. Uh, so we are a junior um, crime scene uh, investigator. Um, there is uh, a um, a boss is here watching over us. Shit. Oh. Oh, do we see them? We're being supervised? This looks like liminal space. Oh, not middle management. Uh, Fuck. So Capitalism. We, I know. This is a big ass hall. So we've got we've got some documents, uh, but we've got hall. our um, <laughs> exam questions. I was, just, I was about to say this is giving me like homework, academia, anxiety, oh, and I already okay. feel like a fidgety <laughs> just okay. looking at it. Are you okay. sure you want to submit? No, we don't want to submit answers. What we need to what we it need to find exam. out based on the evidence that we have. Okay. Who was the getaway driver? Me. 
Can you put in Steph? Yeah. So you can just try. Wait, and, and I feel like you're you implicating in me in this now. <laughs> <laughs> or, Who yeah, was involved? Is that right? Yeah, that seems right. Yeah. Yes? No. Oh. <laughs> What? What's, I guess well, we, I guess we got away oh, with it. I guess we didn't do that. Wow. Well, you proven, in, oh, I kind of proven innocent. I guess oh. I kind of remember I did, but I guess I didn't. Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe, oh. maybe it was. Maybe it was a dream. It's like when you think you stabbed somebody, but, but you then didn't. You didn't. You didn't do it. It's actually so yeah. fine. The terrifying thing That's about awesome. having to type in the answer is that you could do a typo and then fail. Yeah. <gasps> You're so like, I'm not looking forward to that. Like if you accidentally put in a space at the end. Oh yeah. Um, oh my goodness. I hate that yeah. when the email thing. Or happen. if you if you misspell something in Jackbox <gasps> and people guess yeah. that it's the not the real one because they see a misspell. Yeah. yeah. Or you try and type Greg and it comes out Gerg. <laughs> Gerg. <laughs> Which is uh, the same as so all the that you guys said. <laughs> that can that can happen. <laughs> that can happen. Yeah. Uh, so right. we, we we've had a. What are been, the clues? There's been a robbery, uh, a and there's also clue, been. Um, there's no blue there. Potentially connected blue. to a, a previous crime. So we've got the police investigation file. Too. The Woo! subject was Turner Helen. Uh, so this is the old case. Helen Turner, I think you mean. That's true. All right, wow. Helen Turner. Helen Comer Turner. Call, Ellen call Jones. Cousin. Called Cousin uh, five for Sex. Five. Oh, she is shower. Guys, her hair is taller brown. than me. Oh. Five, her five. hair is brown. Same. Shocking. Oh, my God, me too. <laughs> Maybe you Shocking. are Helen. <laughs> it's me. Uh, oh. So her so item that Crash was... Zoom. She described... So, Crash okay. <laughs> oh, so it, the bag was taken, but also all the stuff in the bag was taken. Yeah. This yeah. is true. She's had yeah. a thorough rubbery. A total value of $590 was stolen. Damn, who's carrying With that much main, on them? The, the, well, the, the was, main value coming from the phone. Yes, so oh, there was a okay. phone mint green case. Right, she's uh, one of Stolen $500. Uh, why, mint green girlies. Why, 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 does, why do they not all <gasps> have values on them? Uh, they, because... Uh, some of them are just... Uh, how do you... Uh, sentimental. A wallet? Priceless. That's not true. Mm. You can spend a can lot you of buy money on. Yeah. Oh, okay. that doesn't look like That's Helen. That's a real man. That's <laughs> what? I thought this was a. Oh video my god! Game. Have you seen? <laughs> That's a real man. He's got the scene hairdo. I don't think that's a real man. I wonder if this is a real man or an AI man. That's a fake man if I've uh, ever seen fake men before. Yeah, we can't see fingers in here, but I'm I'm sure there'd be 12 per hand if we were looking at hands. Yeah, I think that's AI. So this is Frank Carter. That's a really freaky tea. Frank. Frank Carter. Five, six, another short king. Citizen. Another short king indeed. Okay. Yeah. At what point are you tall? Um, not there. Is there medium height? I'm I'm five foot seven. So wait, 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 wait. I think I'm medium height. Okay. That says he was thirty five, but yeah. his birthday is nineteen seventy four. So this is set in two thousand and nine. Two thousand and nine. No. Two thousand and nine. I'm not good at maths. That's Two thousand and nine. Right. I, uh, I, I didn't even have a ballpark figure. I was just <laughs> it's like my, my 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 brain had a, <laughs> a little person on a penny farthing bike. Like, no. Let's bring it no, down. No. Squeak, 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 squeak. Ruby's so in Ruby's in crime solving mode. Yeah, uh, so he's this, he's gone to jail. Yep, for in ninety two, ninety nine, and 05. Yeah, he's gone to jail. Oh, for, so we're for theft in before. theft, stole from citizens, conned money. Okay, interesting. Wow. So like learned a few things while in the Willow Bay Correctional Facility, uh, and came out as a smarter criminal. Started conning rather than yeah. just going to steal. Items. Petty mm. theft, shoplifting, and then conned. Con men. Yeah, uh, I think. Oh, okay. but he's still conned from civilians. Yeah, yeah. Depends if they have money. Oh, I he's really... Chad. Chad? That is an AI. No, that is a fake man that is, also. That is not a real man. Gosh, but does he look Chad? He's five, also 5'6". Five, short King. They're all Damn. 28 real young. Short. Thank you. Damn. Okay. So what's he done? Uh, identity theft, armed robbery, targeted banks. They seem like... That's a step up. Release released for good behavior. Though. For good behavior. So probably... Wait, when, when did this happen? <gasps> When did the crime happen? It's in 09, happen? right? Uh, because if they're 30, let me go back to the. Let me go back to the. Um, I might oh, quickly sorry. grab my glasses so that I can see. Yeah, go anyway. for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Detective, you get what you need. Date of theft. Need. Okay, May May 09. Mido yeah, says it's the same man with a haircut. May 09. Oh, you reckon? I I don't think it was Chad because who would go from. Sorry, uh, I think a piece of information that we've missed by not reading this evidence is uh, that um, all of them were involved. Oh, the, all these people have been arrested. One person was uh, uh, captured, um, and uh, let me go to this synopsis. Uh, the police have arrested a man they suspect to be a, about to rob a bank. They confiscated items found in the van the man was standing by. The police were able to get the 
the man to give up the name of, names of his accomplices, it is suspected that the man and his accomplices might also be involved in the purse snatching of Helen Turner. Mm. However, all the police have are the items from the getaway van, the criminal records of the three men that were going to rob the bank, and the incident report from Helen Turner. So all three of these people are arrested under suspicion of going to rob Did the Helen bank. Did Helen Turner give a uh, description of the thief? Ah. Oh. Uh, suspect, unknown, light skin, height around 5'5", five, five, hair oh, color Oh, no, dark. no, no, that, that says less than 5'5". Five, five. No, that says greater than 5'5". It's five, greater, five. greater, greater than 5'5". Five, five, so taller than, and they're both 5'6". I can five, see six. now, yep. I can see symbols. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, but all dark hair, all roughly 5'5". Five, five. I mean, he's 5'6", and this guy's 5'6", and this guy's 5'7". Oh, okay, so who's this guy? This is young Anthony. That or man Anthony looks young. like oh, he's my height. the guy that used to run the fish shop in That's my hometown. Young. Oh, yeah. That's mm. young Anthony. That man who ran your fish shop? Yeah. He was AI. Fuck. I never knew. I know. Okay, he's the oh. oldest. It's the ones you least suspect. Right. Uh, he's 38. He's 38. He's interlinked. Old boy. Interlinked. Old boy. Interlinked. Uh, so um, he's been arrested multiple times, 95, 98, and 03. Uh, and a petty theft stole from the elderly, breaking wow. and entering. Oh, wow. Con, con money. Con money from women? Yeah. Jail. This oh, guy? Oh, jail forever. This guy? Jail forever. Jail for life. No other info. Okay. He He's done very similar crimes to the first guy. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So here's the written statement. I feel uh, like. From Helen Turner. Oh, here we go. Give it an accent. <laughs> I was, how old is she? Um, she's I think like, she's quite old. Yes. No, she's. Date of birth 67. 67. So that's she's in what? She's fifty odd. Forty. No, no, no she's forty two. Forty two. She got kicked in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not good at maths. She got kicked in the throat, which is why she sounds like this at only a meager forty two years old. I was at home for pretty much the whole morning. I went to wake up. I went to fifty two. Wake no, up, Cold Cafe. It's nineteen sixty seven. This is set in 09. Oh. It's 42. Oh. Oh. Please. I was, <laughs> I'm good at math. That's the one thing I'm good at. I can't Maths, read. not math. Come on. I, mean, I was going to say I mean, maths and then you interrupted me. I, 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 it's mathematics. I just Thank read, you. I just read chat. I, I went to wake up Cold Cafe to meet up with my friend, who's also 97, <laughs> around 2 p.m. Oh Nothing of note happened. She's led a real tough life. I just told my friend that the news had announced the winning numbers of a lottery I played, and I had won. Some money. I was going to cash it in today. We made plans to meet up again to celebrate. Ooh, so maybe someone overheard that and wanted to steal a little mm. bit of the lottery ticket that was uh -huh. stolen from them. I left the cafe about 45 minutes later. Long time to spend at a cafe. I headed Not towards really. cart convenience, and that was around the time that I got knocked over the head by a man coming from up behind me. Next thing I knew, I was watching him turn around the left corner with my purse in his hands. Oh, my accent's gone somewhere funny. You never know. You really think such things happen to you until you, they do. Oh, my oh, God. I, rem I re can remember his, uh, he was a bit taller than me and that he had dark hair and light skin. As soon as I was able to gather me wits. <laughs> I asked the passerby to call the police. What Alan happened? Jones she's has a wonderful a bit, signature. It's gone a bit that north. That handwriting is All of a sudden, fantastic. we ventured into the middle of the year as well. Yeah, yeah. Check out that signature on Alan Jones. I, I, I watched this, um, this TikTok of this little baby being asked like what she wanted for dinner. And she's oh, like, is this the Scottish baby? The, the little I Scottish love baby. The Scottish and she's like, oh, yeah. Oh, the sausages? Oh, I... Sausages from Aldi? I'd like the sausages, please. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am. Oh. I had two. I want them. I had two. I'm really so hungry. <laughs> I'd like it. My favorite one. Have you seen Have you seen? <laughs> I'm sorry to take that. Effie, you love this one too. It's the woman who's like. Knocking it. <laughs> What? Every northerner in a musical, and <laughs> she was just like all these characters. I'm gonna get you and knock you on your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, no, oh, yeah. she's yeah. like me. No, I'm from the north. I'm from the north. We just live in houses anything. made of shit and mud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. So, no. so we got a bit of a we got a bit, we of, got a bit of information info here, from yeah. that. and we've got evidence. <laughs> Someone stole the lottery ticket. Uh, yeah. So what's been recovered uh, is a uh, mint Ooh, green cool phone. phone. Oh my gosh, that's right? a that's 80. A wait, 
Hold on. That's an a that's thirteen not ten. A, that is not a five hundred dollar phone. Mm. And it's also it may not, have been in the nineties. It said that it had a mint it's, case. It's, it's two thousand and nine. That's just the phone. It's oh, yeah, not going to. That is not a five hundred dollar phone. This is. This is deceptive. That's that's that's, that's, an, sus. that's, that's a that's an Ericsson. The, that's yeah. a lot, a lot of one. fucking money for an old lady. She's not Nokia? old. She's forty two. <laughs> Wait, a how lot much money, money was think? it? Are they, is this evidence? It's a government warning on that label. Around. No, no, no. Sticks. Sorry, I think these belongs they, these belong to the crims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think this, what, the the this is what's been recovered from the truck, oh. basically. That's a burner phone. Okay, here's some evidence. I love evidence. My master plan. Clover Bank. Monthly swap. Lorenzo will send <gasps> all of us exact date. Part one of swap, 315 to 335, 20 minute window. Every second counts. Be in positions, 315 sharp. Get in, get out. Minimum security th at this time, 315, 335. Security re returns from swap. Second part of swap, 335 to 355. Too much activity. Plan B. Activity returns to normal at like 410 ish. May have to resort to robbery at gunpoint. Plan C, wait another month, don't have time. I really, really love okay. that they went to the effort we of can, doing it. We a, can a make heading? notes in a notepad my here if we want. Master plan. plan. Yeah, but we can do this on screen for everyone. Oh, yeah, True. that makes sense. So, uh, what do you want to know? Important to note. So, his master plan. Master plan. Um, we need to correlate the times in the master plan to the time of the theft. Oh. Time of theft. But we need to give it a heading because he did. Give it a heading. Master plan. I think it's a title. To danger. What? I just got really stuck on trying to figure out what model of phone that was. <laughs> uh, All right. So we, we go also into have here. going. Oh. We can't interact with this, but this but is where things took close. place. The There's car convenience. Next to Supreme. An burgers. ATM. Uh, where's the cafe? Um. Wake up. Wake up. Call cafe. So. It was, uh, this is where Helen got robbed on the way to cart convenience after leaving uh, the Wake Up Call Cafe. So yes. somewhere around here. Uh, maybe it's that green pin. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Mm. So we want to know the So, yeah. Time of theft? 3.10 is, is when it was reported or when Five the minutes before happened. they needed to be on site. I, I have a hunch. Yes. Oh. Here's my hunch. Hunch away. Uh, my initial hunch. So the middle guy. Okay. He is the only one that has experience with like armed robbery and 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 like very like more serious fraud crimes. I uh, and from that, I personally think that he's the one that organized the bank robbery. However, these yep. other two are petty criminals. They're probably all met in jail. These other two are petty criminals. I have a hunch that it was one of them that did the purse snatching. Uh, but most likely, this guy. Because he has a history with uh, robbery from women. Yeah. He hates okay. women notoriously. Mm. Whereas this is just civilians, not women. Yeah. yeah. The petty theft, and so, it, and if we go down to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's known of having done forgeries, but it was never proven, and he was never convicted. <gasps> okay. Has anything been forged? Uh, no. So we also have that um, that Lorenzo uh, name. We do. From the other thing. But what were the from, other from, dudes' This is names? Frank Carter, Chad, Chad Harris, Harris, and Anthony Young. So I think Chad's the, the mastermind. He's okay. the one. He's the master Chad plan guy. I think Chad is a red herring. Really? Mm. Controversial. But he seems too obvious to me. Yeah. And also he looks... And also like, was released for only... good behavior. Probably still good. Money? He's the, but he, he got caught with the van, right? Yeah. Well, he's well, the sure. only one that's been who got, who Who got caught with a van? Sticks. Um, Wait, what does it say on the front? All three of them were caught Smooth with a van. Smooth and encouraging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was it all three were caught with a van? No, one was caught no, one... at the van and then uh, ratted on the which, other. Which one was caught at the van? Uh, that mm. was not specified. I've oh. arrested a man they suspect. Uh, the police were able to uh, get the man to give up the names of his accomplices. So, uh, yeah, as a reminder for the questions, we need uh, to know who the who getaway, getaway driver, driver was oh. and who was involved in stealing okay. Helen. Shall we try? So the yep. getaway driver doesn't necessarily have to be the person that... No, they're separate. That made yeah. master Do we get plan? limited yeah. attempts to enter this in? Do we I, need to do I the full name? I honestly think that Chad was the, the... Okay, Chad Harris. Chad Chad Harris uh, organized it. Yep. Yeah, and the getaway so, driver... Did he, but he did the snatching? 
It doesn't um, say he no. did the snatching. No, okay. We don't need to know who organised it. We need to know who did the snatching Which is and who did the driving. I think However, the answer to these two are between are the two other, other guys. two. Oh, they're, so if they're, we, they're if they're we eliminate lackeys. Chad, we've got a who's who's the more likely person to be the driver? The shop man. The younger man. I want to quicker say... on the sticks. Oh, they're thirty-five. Wait, has he done? So Chad um, is the youngest by far. Okay, can you zoom in on um, old mate first one? Old mate first one. Yeah. So he's his crimes, his charges. His crimes. His crimes. <laughs> this is Mr. Crimes. <laughs> Call he's... him Mr. Crimes. <laughs> oh, Mr. So crimes, crimes is his father. Yes. No, he's just <laughs> Call him Mr. old crimey boy. Crime boy. Uh, mm. Stole items from stores, mostly done that. He conned things. See, I don't think that. His 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 were never targeted. No. Um, Where I is, think I think he's the driver. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I think this is could be the driver. Frank Carter could be the driver. Yeah. And uh, that would suggest Anthony that Young. Anthony Young is not uh, involved. The 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 person that attacked poor Miss. Oh yes, true. Yeah. And Chad was the mastermind who was Anthony not Young. caught. And Chad involved. was there as the more again not a seasoned veteran though. No. Just does has had more hardcore crime. Yeah. I think he's the one banks. that planned it. Yeah. But I think the first one. Uh, Mr. Crimes. Uh, uh, <laughs> See, to Frank me that, Carter. I would think the older person is doing all the planning, and, yeah. this, and they've roped in this no, idiot kid. No, no, who's I, I don't think so. I, I, I honestly so think it's the opposite. Yeah. I, th I think the two that have that have done con work would be the ones that are like more advanced criminals, and but, the one but, that's but just I done like con, the petty con, stuff. Con, because we see here petty theft, breaking and entering. Con work doesn't suggest that it's clever. Because you can yeah. you can con money out of somebody and be a fucking idiot. But, I, but it, like... you have to be manipulative and calculated. Uh, to, I but, think. but we also have that note that uh, that um, what's her name? Helen. Helen was talking out loud about winning the lottery. Mm. And, and given if, her age, if, she would have talked loudly so that yeah, her friend totally, could hear. Yeah, obviously. because they had the AIDS turned <laughs> down. Forty two. Uh, yeah, she is forty two. I know her AIDS must have been really low. Oh my god. Uh, so um, uh, one of those people overhearing likely to try and do something about it mm. i would think someone who's got a history with that be like Ooh. that's an easy oh. that's a good like, point yeah Ooh, so. that liam guy says the first one was in prison during the crime is that true but they were all free is he still in prison oh five definitely not wait 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 wait. but but for how long yeah he was out yeah, he was he was free. They all met in prison, very clearly. They're, they're pals uh, from prison. Oh, he was released early. Ten years, oh, but released, released in 09 for good behaviour. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because we, we we double you checked that as well. I believe him. In Feb, so just got out. Mm, and yeah. uh, three for three years. Oh six. He yeah, likes so to con money all, from uh, women. They're all out. But wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry, can we have a look at the prisons here? Yes. Dark, Dark water, water Iron Bolt, and Solid Gate, and we'll go back. Willow Different Bay. Ones. Yeah. Go back. But Willow Bay is connected to these two, I believe. Um, da and, and okay. Yeah, okay. So okay. they've all been at the same presence at certain points. Yeah, but not yeah. at the same it's time. I think these two were all in. All the uh, same ones at the same time. Willow Bay 99 for five years, so to 2004. Which one do you think and would make a title page for Willow his Bay, crime list? Yeah, they, they were in Willow. These two were in Willow Bay together. Okay. Chad, oh. Chad and Frank. I think, I think. I think the young guy's the mastermind. I do. I, I feel like. Anthony is the one who actually did the 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 robbery, the but the, the, the snatching, snatching. Snatch. the snatching, yep. the snatching. Which, part. which suggests then that we go. Frank is the um the driver. Frank is the driver. Carter. Yep. Why, why do you think he did the snatching? Because he's had a history of uh, conning uh, women and stealing from the elderly. Mm. And as we know, and breaking and entering. You steal he, from he, one old he, woman, you want does. to steal from more. From, from, keep it from going. his history, he does. Wait, 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 no, no. Chad, uh, uh, it's it's Anthony Young. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony Young, Young, not Chad Harris. Chad Harris was the mastermind. He's the mastermind, yeah. Okay. Anthony. Uh, do we all feel comfortable with this? Young. Oh, wait, hold on. The plus and the minus. You what can does that add do? more people you can who add was people. involved. I, I think oh. it was a, I think it was a lone crime. I think I he don't did think it on the side. She said, what, she said one more. person. I think she said, the, yeah. the main person. plan was robbing the bank. And, like, and we know that there can't have been two getaway drivers. There was one car. We can't add a getaway driver. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think we're good. Submit. Give us one. Oh, we, we passed. Oh, we put okay. someone away. Which, are we which told one? Which one was right? What do right? we do? Does it say? Uh, Start exam. Oh. What? It doesn't tell us. Wait, was that a tutorial? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we that's how long it took Fuck. us to get through this tutorial. Oh, oh good, good, God. good. That works. This time? game is reviewing quite well because it's that detail yeah. focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, you guys should go to And we did this. not have inf much information to no. go on at all. I feel like we were just making wild assumptions. Wow. All okay. Right. Blood birth. Yes. Does it say which one you got right? No. No, it doesn't, no. Uh. Uh, which is I don't think we're gonna. Really I don't think we're gonna solve one. But which one do you guys want to jump into and check out? I mean, I feel like bloodbath blood sounds bath. fun. I want to do a bloodbath. Yeah, kind missing, of blood boring. Bath. That just means something is not there. The uh, fourth mi floor. Mi <laughs> that's just a place. So right. yeah. Missing, that's missing. Just a place so with something true. that was there that is no longer. Missing <laughs> appeals to me the most, I think, because it's like there's something that can be found. True. Are but we blood bath, recovering? We will things? find. Yeah, blood. blood. It, maybe, maybe in yeah. a bath. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. Maybe it's just yeah. maybe it's maybe just a bath full of blood, and that's the mystery. And then you like figure it out. Done. It was a pig. It's a bloodbath. Chat. Yeah. Chat. Let us know. Chat, what, what do you see. think? We'll go with the first one that said. Yeah. <laughs> and if it's missing, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see how it is. Bloodbath. Let's blood. go. Blood. Blood. Let's go. Bath. We're going to yeah. bloodbath. Bloodbath. I love blood a bloodbath. Blood Give me blood. Bloodbath is the best way to blood go. Bloodbath. Bloodbath. I think they were going with bloodbath. Oh, there was, oh, a, okay, there was a bloodbath in Aldi. I'm all right, <laughs> I'm all right thanks. It's just, I've had a bit of a fall. A oh, fall. no. I've had a fall. Not the a witness. Fall. Oh, actually, oh. this is a question I've Keep asked before. Keep an open mind. At mm. what age does uh, falling over become having, having a, a fall? fall. Yeah. Oh. Oh, My yeah. mum's age. I've had falls. How old's your mum? 60 odd. Yeah, okay. She, she, she's yeah. Oh, yeah, she's, um, oh. she said, I've had another fall. I always find it funny when Is people this say something odd. A bath <gasps> full of blood? That's an outline of a person. And what are they doing? Mm. Oh, and they're like... With a cool, they're, they're, with a cool they're, hairdo. They're going like this. Oh, I thought oh, that was a... Oh, trying not to be hit in the head. I thought that was a, a firm ponytail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, like olive like oil. A, like, like one of those... Um, <laughs> From uh, uh, Popeye. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Samurai? Yeah, samurai. samurai. Oh, yeah, like the, yeah, yeah. the more of the like. Oh, there's a gun. One. <gasps> Sick. A noodle bowl. Boys love guns. So, oh. wow. Are we, are wow. we allowed to just like touch a bunch of stuff? Yeah, yeah. We don't I worry about touch fingerprints things. or yeah, fingerprints contaminating evidence at all. Let's Shit. touch. We're things. not concerned we, with that. Are we crawling or are we a Scottish baby? We are a Scottish Solving baby. Crimes. I'm just a Scottish I baby. I want to have the sausages. I love the sausages from Alda. How to? I. I want those. I'd like to have them. Mommy. Mom, mm. can I get can mom, I get sausage mom. from Aldi? Had too. I really like it. Mother, I'm really hungry. I don't want to. I don't want to solve crimes mom, anymore. Mom, what's on the floor? Is it blood? M mother, what's blood, mom? Blood Are you in, in here, the mother? bath? Mommy, what's a blood? blood bath. Oh, it's a blood bath. No. Can, mom, go and have a bath. Can I have my toes in there? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> mom is Why gone. Why is everything so tall? <laughs> <laughs> Moment, I've grown really tall. So tall. I, grew, I grew big. Moment, moment, help! I've grown really tall. What? Now we're. I'm what really we big here? now. I'm whole five oh. foot five. Oh. Five oh. foot. Oh, there's blood on the wall. Oh Jesus. my days! It really is a bloodbath. That's exclusively what, this is, this for the a, bath. This is a cop shop that got shut up. Is this an interrogation room? Whoa! Oh, it wow. is. Oh no! Somebody was breaking someone out. Oh, oh my goodness! Wait, wait! Before they could confess <gasps> to a murder. Oh my god! He was hitting up against the wall. He had a bad sneeze. He's got weird-looking feet, though. He's head he's so he is so tall. That's he's not a short king. He's, like, he's a, not a short he's a, king he's at a all. Slender man. Kind of, yeah. He's kind of stretched out. Yeah. He also like that's a weird way to kind of end it. You totally, know? Like, because this implies that the elbows were locked okay. into that corner <laughs> as okay. well. He's got one shot in the head and one shot in the leg. In yeah, the yeah, knee. Yeah. That's not yeah. even the knee, really. I, he has no knees. That's a classic leg right. shot right there. That I is... have to crawl before I can Should walk we be again. making notes about it? I feel like we should probably have the notebook out. I... Because otherwise, like, oh, we've still got the uh, other one. keeps it. Is this related to the last one? That's kind of crazy. Because I cannot tell. I can't find mum. I want I know, sausages I from Al. So I had mom. two of them. Please. <laughs> They're really good. Please, mother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're really good. I had to. They were really good. I. <laughs> I mean. I uh so there was a, there was many, a man. How many witnesses? Uh, no, there was no. there was two bodies. How three. many bodies are there? Three bodies. I, can't put this I thing feel on. like there were how, oh, one, what? one, one, two, two. 
Three. three four. Wait, where's the four? Sorry, three. Four. Uh, four. There we go. Uh, in the in interrogation room. <laughs> Five. There's another one. Wait, is there is another that one all? in the back? It's on the other side. Six. I I, I, this one's a child. Exactly what no, I thought. No, that's not a child. No, exactly that's what just I thought. a short person. Oh, just a short king. I, maybe five foot five. Yeah. Short king. <laughs> Sorry? A short king. And nothing wrong with a short king. And there's nothing wrong with it's, a short king. In fact, I, I like a short king. It's good. But, I mean, your king's quite tall. That's is. not the point. That's not the point of what's I happening here. I prefer if he's a bit short. I uh, if, honestly, it would do me a lot check. better. Because then if I, like, yeah. I don't the way have that to this coffee is person. lit, it's like this is the most important We're gonna coffee. We're going to interrogate the coffee. Yeah. yeah. It's what do you know? <laughs> it's the main character. <laughs> oh, just a long maybe black. Maybe it is. It's a long black. Sugars. That's a that's a large cup. For All right. A long so, black. Uh, the questions that we have oh, for yeah. this are. Oh, look at this oh, detail. What, what is in the package by the exit? What is in the package? Should we go to the exit? <laughs> Where's the exit? <laughs> no. What's uh, okay, the yeah, good let's have a stab. Killing. Just guess. Let's have a stab. Okay. And then we can call it. What's uh, in the package? Sausages from Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> that mum got. <laughs> What's the gun Dude. the killer used? Standard issue. Uh, no. 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 Uh, who, who died by the office door? Who died? Me mom. mom. Me mom. <laughs> mm, mom. Who was the dirty cop? Me mom. <laughs> uh, mom. Uh, Angus McClinty. <laughs> How many people were murdered? Oh, uh, like and we counted. We, we counted. Count, there we, was we six. Didn't count all there of were, them. I believe it was two. No, yeah, it was there was two. There was more than that. It was eight. There was at least two. There were six. There but, was, uh, six. There were maybe we don't know seven. that all of them were murdered. I maybe some maybe, of them were already there, dead. I think there there are more in the office, and we didn't count them. Oh, oh yeah, true. Yeah. We didn't check. I can't write that answer. Okay. So, we'll just so skip like, that does one. it doesn't matter. We'll just skip that That's one. Can you do it if it's the number of caravan? Was Harry Baker too. in a reasonable Who's server? Harry Baker? He was the coffee. Uh, oh, yeah, then absolutely. How many people were murdered? Uh, I can't write anything say, in there. Oh, you can't? No. No, okay. none. Everyone was totally Which fine. Are we going to be able to submit? Uh, <laughs> no, no, it was... Uh, uh, um, <laughs> oh, Graham. 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 And also um, uh, Douglas. Graham uh, Hafferty. Mm. Graham Aye. Douglas Hafferty. That's right. That's his name. Uh, sorry. First sorry. of his Hafferty name. Hafferty has two Fs. Yeah. And uh, at least two Fs. Don't disrespect at most his name. Three. At most. That's at a bit most too many. Three. And, and <laughs> his num lock off. And can we, num can we put how many people were murdered? I don't think we can. Oh, I can oh, only type numbers. 3, I, was to, I was trying to type 212 the word. 12 for a six, second there. But I can. 10? 10? Okay. 10. 10. Right. At well, I probably. Wonder, imagine if we, get, I mean, if we get anything right. The question right. is, how many we people were murdered, but it doesn't right. say in this place. Uh, people uh, are murdered so every Manny, day. I'm half Scottish. Two of these. <laughs> two of these. My uh, last name's Innes. <laughs> two of these are 50 50s. I am not. So I we Scottish. might get two right. I, we, we might. might. That's not We might pass, solve though. this thing, you guys. <laughs> are you sure? If this is a sure? pass. Are you sure you want to see this is two right and a pass? All right. Are we ready? Okay. <gasps> one out of uh, <laughs> Wait, but which, which one? one? Which one? I think it was the 10 bodies. <laughs> I, 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 was Graham really, so I can't Graham break out. Graham Douglas. Gra <laughs> yeah. Graham, Graham Douglas Hafferty. Douglas. F. Wow. You know, you know what that tells me? This isn't set in Scotland. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely not a Scottish game. We're not in game. Scotland this anymore. This is not a Scottish no. game. We're not in Scotland it's, no it's, more. It's way outside of think? Scotland. We'd be in Loch Lamour <laughs> if we were in Scotland. Uh, that is... Anyway. Uh, scene Investigators. Wow, that was what a great game. Very it was great. Game if you like it, you can play it right. Uh, you can do you it properly. <laughs> I can't break out of it now. No, I'm good. Should I'm we good. change the... Oh, yeah, we can change oh, the Oh, yeah, it can be something else. we can see the things. Thank you so much for watching us play that. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful game. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, oh. good, good investigation. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, not yeah, it's a shame Polish. we didn't get two there because I feel like a two might have been a pass if we were if we out were lucky. Out of seven? Really? Two out of seven, that's a pass in Scotland. Is it? In that's Scotland. in Scotland. Oh, Scotland. Yeah, okay, fair. If wow. it was in Scotland, then it was down seven. They're, they're, wow. they're, they're very forgiving with, they're uh, so when it comes forgiving. to... Grades. <laughs> it's fine. It's close Aye, enough. It's F all right. It's effing great, mate. It's fine. You're uh, doing yeah. so great. 
All right, uh, that is the show, everyone. We got to um, read some credits, I believe. Um, so, uh, Steph P, if you do the honors of, can um, I continue with my Scottish accent? You should absolutely. It's not very good. I think chat will revolt pretty, if you don't. It's okay, pretty, okay. It's pretty darn good. The mods we've got Gat and we've got Syntax Error, Liz Dahlia. Uh, it's more Irish. Yeah, no, I'm I'm struggling. Hang on. Uh, so Roll the, your arms. <laughs> Phoenix O Lion, uh, Disturbed Seven Seven Eight, Jex. Caboose, What the Shark, Snail XD, Lord Shadamar. Uh, then we've got Dump Do the Days. rest as a scene girl. As a scene girl. <laughs> uh, I feel like scene girls don't really have like a voice, they but don't. Honey Bun Bun. Um, I thought they were just Dump sad. Days. Psychologic. Um, Moth Captain. Oh, hang on, let me let me get this going. Oh, I missed someone who I missed. Right, uh, yeah, uh, Babbling Boffin. That's a good one to say in Scottish accent. Uh, Macandagda. Uh, Burry Burry. Yeah. Kane Lavis. Glowing Might. It's Jep. Nin, nin, how do I do that in a Scottish accent? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Ninja, Ninja Pyro. Pyro. Yeah. Uh, Boxy. I Impod 18. Bifros. Uh, Super Studios. Well. Middle C, Jazzles, Jazzles. A Timothy, okay. Nicrotex. Oh, or is it? Or is it I Timothy? I Timothy. <laughs> I uh, the coastal <laughs> city, uh, Sassless. And I'm, I'm racing through these now. You got to say Nicrotex. Nicrotex, Muso for hire, mm, Phil Tippett, and Oz Naminator. Sing there we go. Is that right? Really is that is really funnier than a scene girl Any, who's Scottish. A Scottish <laughs> scene girl. She's doing her uh, best. Tartan She's was kind of in with the, with the scene. She's scene doing her best. Well. Yeah, because Tartan, uh, was... Tartan was very uh, popular with uh, punk. Yeah. I would yeah, uh, so like I... to apologise specifically to Mark Settles for that. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you got someone, the accent from? No, no, no. I just, I, I did, well. unfortunately, a lot of uh, theatre yeah. and we did a lot of accent stuff. So I can do most accents half okay. We did a, uh, we did a, like, a theatre-y experience in Edinburgh. Well, we saw some uh, murder. Every time murder. we travel somewhere, murder. we will pick one, like, Super cheesy, cringe Touristy tourist thing. experience. In oh, Norway, we saw an amazing Viking animatronic thing. Yeah. That was. It was sick. You said like it a little at a goblet. Pizzeria by any chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should have been. Certain, <laughs> but it. Fred Fazbear there. <laughs> but, in, uh, but in Edinburgh, Edinburgh, we saw the William Wallace experience. Oh, oh classic. Beautiful. And, uh, and classic. yeah, the, the girl that was leading us through said the word murder so many times. And murder. every time we were murder. both just like. Murder. 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 Say it uh, quick. Yeah. The, uh, the credit supervisor there at the end of the credits list was Oz Naminator, and Oz Naminator is the sponsor of the post show. Uh, we're oh, all fully healed. Did you do a bunch of different Pokemon noises for this? Or no. No, it's just, just that yeah. one? Just the one. Full heal. Um, I made something uh, That was really fun. Now, for, for Oz Naminator, we, um, we read some Aussie rhyming slang. Mm. Uh, I'm going to read you what the slang is. You're going to tell me. Uh, what it means. I thought um, this would be easy, but they proved quite because difficult. Uh, most most sometimes... rhyming slang that we know is British rhyming slang. But sometimes they rhyme with the thing, and sometimes they don't. Mm. No, they no, all... they always rhyme no, with the yeah, thing. I don't, I don't need to yeah, see anything they do. anymore. They That's do because it. it is rhyming slang, but it's sometimes rhyming with a thing that is another Australian vernacular slang, thing, yeah, yeah. which this one is another double layered one. Oh. Okay, oh, so right. I need you. Uh, well, it's not really double, but it's uh, it's got an ochery meaning, um, okay. the word that it's referencing. Uh, so having a Barry Crocker. Oh, I know this one. Yeah? Yep. It's having a shocker. Nice. Yeah. This is one that my dad uses. So I figured someone. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, have a Barry having Crocker. A, having a Barry yeah. Crocker. If he's watching the football, he'll be like, oh, he's oh, having no, a Barry it's Crocker. Is Barry Crocker someone? Because yes. last, yeah, probably. last time it was a boxer, it was referencing a person. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was when you kept Bush. You know what I mean? Harry Cocker. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he, he, he was just like a, he was a, tele, he was a television personality. Of right. Uh, yeah. It's one of dad's like two things. Actor. If he comes back from golf and it's bad, it's, oh, I had a Barry Crocker or 
It wasn't golf. It was either flog, which is golf backwards, or it was whack fuck, which is the noise that it makes when you go whack fuck. Yeah. Every single <laughs> That's time. So funny. Yeah. Uh, very good. Whack fuck. Very, whack very fuck. good. Uh, so, yeah, a Barry Crocker is a shocker. Uh, a poor performance is what a shocker is to anyone who's not Australian. Because I think everyone knows what a shocker is. A bloody is. shocker. Yeah. Having a shocker. Yeah. Uh, yeah that is our show. Shocker. Thank you. Are you good? Sorry, I was just coughing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, excuse Sorry, me for I existing. Was, <laughs> Jesus. I was I not, trying not to breathe. No, but you. <laughs> what That's the hell? Barry hey, Crocker. Hey, hey, Josh. Yeah. Are you all right? Are you okay? Mm. We'll talk better in the post show. Okay. All Do you right. need a moment? I Therapy in the post Josh. show. Aww. Or just lozenges in the, in the post show. <laughs> lozenges in the post show. <laughs> no, Loz was in the last show. Oh, yeah. Two weeks. Hey. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I don't know. I wasn't uh, here. Time is a void. <laughs> Uh, thanks everyone for watching the show tonight I uh, really appreciate everyone coming along uh, especially thanks to those of you who support us on Patreon that's how we make the show uh, we are a crowdfunded thing that's how we keep the lights on in here so uh, if you are interested in supporting the show on Patreon uh, head to patreon.com slash back pocket and you can see all the tiers that we have it's easy to buy in at a low level and if you can't afford to just share the show around and also you can join the discord for free uh, so um, you can go to backpocket.gg and see the links to everything uh, and the discord is awesome so check Check it out. It pops off like this. S Steph, uh, obviously we'll yes. be seeing you in aquariums soon, but where else can we see you? Uh, you can, wow, that's, yeah. That. Uh, you can see me right now. Um, Look at me. You can see me on pretty much everything, uh, all platforms with my name, which is at Steph Panacasio, spelt like window pane Casio watch. There you go. Window pane, Cassio. Window pane. It's the Lovely. easiest way to do it. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Check that out. Uh, obviously, we're on uh, twitch.tv slash back underscore pocket. Keep watching us here. We'll be streaming a bit throughout the week. We've probably got some more Mario streams coming up from Gussie. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday with this show. And uh, we've got the post show coming up for those of you in the gold pocket tier. Gold pocket Wee -wee. tier. For now, so, though. So, wait, you're telling me you get bonus episodes of the podcast what? and access to the post show what? with a gold tier. Wow. That's pretty cool. Wow. Feels like good value. That feels like better value than sausages from Aldi. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> tier them? What about two? Sausages, sausages from, from, from Aldi. Uh, enjoy you your sausages, go everyone. Good night. Bye. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's very yeah. snapshot, isn't it? Oh.